PCR 12 fighter Kevin Castle is with me today. We chat about running, darts, Britpop, football and buying a second division soccer team. We also discuss the lead into his boxing debut on April 20. Special thanks to GEM Resourcing and Rapidware, major sponsor of today's guest, as well as Gerbsmack Sports Mouthguards, MVP Real Estate, Link Support Solutions, Studio 22 and Counterbalance Fitness, major sponsors of the PCR. So please welcome Mr. Kevin Castle. What were you even talking about before? Oh, the running. Mm. So you're into it. I love it. Still? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, I, literally, if I had to give up anything, fitness-wise, and only do one thing, it'd be running. Yeah, love it. Where do you run? South Perth. So, like, just oh, around, just good, out where I live, yeah, just, like, the the loop, so one one side of the river, round the river. It's, like, things like 10.3 k's all up, like, exactly, to the dot, and it's, yeah, fucking lovely. What about the wind? They yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Yeah, so it d- depends on the depends on the time of day you go. Like if you go at night, as you go in towards the the city, you get it a bit. But that yeah, that's the worst. When it's when rough. it's proper every wind, you just like oh, I can't be out. That's when it's a bit of a slog. You like, I can't be out with this. But would you prefer a headwind or a slight hill? Ooh. I'd have to go the hill. Uh, I think I would as well. Yeah, slight hill. hill. Yeah, headwind is just it's just a bastard. Yeah, if it, can I swear? I don't. Know. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> In this yeah, place, sorry, yeah, Jesus, yeah. you can drop, someone drop the C-bomb in here, Jackie Toth dropping the F's and the C's. Shambles. Oh, a little language warning before we kick off here, I reckon. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm, yeah, I'm not good for that. That's every second word normally, yeah. I heard, so tell me about this runner's high that I'm apparently right, missing yeah, out Right, yeah, you're on. missing, it's, it's not, if, I don't, it's not every time, it's like, if you're... So I, I, ran, I ran yesterday and I did, it was 7K and it was just horrible. It was hard. But then I did 10 on Monday and it was like brilliant. So it, it's real, I don't, I don't know why, like I, I, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but sometimes I run it, it's fucking hard and then other times it's brilliant. But when you're going and it's like in the zone, good pace, music's on, like decent music decent and you're just, music. you're just going, you're like, yeah, this is quality. Vibe is just unreal. Proper runner's high, yeah. Good weather. Yeah, like sun's out. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah, like guns like, out. That's it. Yeah, shirt off, round oh. the river. Beautiful, isn't it? What are we do? <laughs> Not a bad view down that that's, way. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Oh, yeah, know. yeah. So, do you get the high during the run or afterwards? Both. For me, for me mm. more. For me more, it's during. It's like sort of that. The first couple of k's is always a bit like. Oh, you, in my head, I'm sort of like I'm in a good pace or am I just like is this going to be a slog and then when you sort of hit that third K and you're like yeah this is I feel good here and then you just hit the right pace and then you just go and it's like ah oh, yeah this just is this floating is this. just yeah and then your head just goes you're just imagining things and then you just all of a sudden like three K's is going so at the minute it's the fight I'll just run in and then just like visualizing it and then look at the watch and you're like it's been like four kilometers here like time just goes yeah it's brilliant it's just a matter of sticking with that running until just, you hit that spot it, yeah, literally, and then, but then other times, like so, yesterday when I went, I got to like three k, and I was like looking at my watch. It, the pace was still the same, but I was just feeling heavy. I was like, oh, this, this is going to be a, this a is going to be a bit of a slog. Yeah, oh, and then, geez. yeah, and then you're just like, oh, just I'm going to get this done now. And then you get to the end of it, and you're like, oh, that was horrible. But it's like the gym as well, isn't it? Like some people go there, they're there for five minutes, and if it's not, if if you're not feeling it, would you ever just stop? No. No, nah, unless through. it was like injury. Yeah, you got to finish it. I'll just get like David Goggins just pops in my head. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> like, I just imagine he's like just having a crack at me, and I'm like, oh. you know, I'll go and finish this now. Like, yeah, you got to go, got to finish it. But the gym's like, the, I like the gym as well. Like, that was probably my main form of training before yeah. this. But the last sort of like month before starting boxing, I was just sort of in a bit of a rut. Like, I was just, oh, I can't be asked. Like, just it's trying to find the right program. If you can find the right program, you enjoy it. It's good, but I can see why people just dread it. Like going in, blah, oh, fucking do this today, forty minutes or, or whatever it is. But I know people are going there for like an hour, hour and a half, two hours. I'm like, nah, not me. No, oh, couldn't do that. No. Forty five minutes in and out, done. Happy days. A bit of mirror work in the Literally, gym. That's it. Yeah, shirt that's off, it. shirt off, getting spray out, tan, get the right light in. You're like, yeah, decent. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my Instagram photos. I'm out. That's it. I, I always find with the gym that I need something to train for. So like, normally yeah. it'd be like a holiday or something. So like, if you're going, going, going away, yeah, yeah, I know it's stupid, but that like, is the greatest 
young English man thing. There you go, in it. Yeah, you're going so Europe summer. You're like, yeah, right. But, uh, six weeks out, better start going to the gym a bit more. Bench press, bicep curl. They're the only two exercises I, I hate, used to see. I hate bench pressing. I hate it. I can't. No, not for me. No, no. Dump dumbbells like uh, so the flat or the incline, but bench press, deadlifts. Like oh. squats, that's what I can't do. It. Like, I injured myself ages ago deadlifting, and it was just like the randomest, like oh, in the back, in the back. Yeah, oh. yeah, everyone was warm, and I was like, no, I'm not fucking doing that again. No. Especially when I was playing for it, just yeah, it was a, a probable like the slightest thing, just make it go, and then yeah, nightmare, oh, injury. But yeah, run, running for me, I think that's the one. There is a massive uh, running community in Perth. I didn't even know about. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, the run clubs are a bit oh, funny. I'm in my WhatsApp group, me and my mates. Um, so two of my best mates, uh, three of my best mates. There's uh, two guys and a, another girl, and we. I can't remember what she called it, but uh, it's our little run club we have. <laughs> it's just yeah, there's the full clubs. And but yeah, you're right. Stra- yeah. Is it called Strava? Yeah, that's right. Is that a thing? Have you seen the the new yeah. update they've done? The dating thing. Oh my! You genius. Any. <laughs> genius really literally it's like uh so let me just tell you running and me just don't mix i've tried it and and i, I know about strava but i'm not part of it it's so I, i'm actually to be fair i keep saying it and I, my um i need to get a new garmin watch actually mine's gone to a bit shambles so I've, it's not been connected for a while but it's um it's good yeah you up, go straight from the watch upload it bang and then you can like share it with your mates and join the so like they upload it. You can link them together, and then yeah. And now there's so who's run more? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it used to, and it, it gets competitive. We oh, we imagine. we um when we all I remember this is about this is back in COVID. This is a few years ago when we um all got the garments. It was just like we went away. We'd we'd go down south or whatever, and over the course of being down south, there'd be like um you can create like a like a little competition for how many days and it would be like most steps or distance or whatever and we yeah. would just be doing that like the weekends were down there so it was just literally clocking you watching who's done what and then it'd literally pop up or something someone's gone for a run or done this and you're like, oh, I better go for a run now like, it, it, <laughs> gets, cool. yeah, it gets competitive you're like oh I better go and do something now but that's good if, if you have a if something actually makes you do training mm. it's got to be a good thing yeah, definitely. Yeah, and there's dating in it now. Uh, apparently, so I, I'm not privy to this. Tell so me I'm about not, the update. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. So I've not actually been on the app for a little while, but I've been told this that apparently there's some form of like dating thing on it now. So you can go on it and obviously like match with other runners or whatever it is. I, I think it's quite genius, to be fair. It's, it it's get, getting away from the getting away from Tinder and Hinge. It's a bit of a. Are you a single man? I am. Yeah. Yeah. Do, I suppose running is a, a very. Um, a unique kind of thing to do, like uh. as in like a hobby. So being matched with someone who also likes running, that can't be a bad thing. Yeah, but then I'm, I'm also thinking about these run clubs because that's uh, I've not been to one or done one. But then I'm thinking, at what point do you are you running and then you see someone next to you like oh, I don't know, have a crack there and then you start chatting. Then at what point do you go? Oh, I'm not interested here. Do you do you like slow down? Do you, do you oh, run no, faster? You what do you do? <laughs> you or do you just in. stand next to him? You're like, wait, well, I'm running the same spot as you, love. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 Can't get away from him, can you? So it could be it could be a shambles, but could be. But I could. I think it's pretty genius. To be fair, one of my mates started a uh, a podcast. Um, probably about six months ago. His name is Matt McGuire. He's a fantastic runner. It's a WA. Shout out to WA Running Podcast or Warp, as he calls it. And they started, and I remember him talking to me about it, and I was thinking, because I'm not a runner, I'm not too sure how this one's going to go. But being very supportive, I'm yeah. always supportive of uh, anyone that's having a crack or something. And he's done really well. And he gets, like, there's plenty of attention around it. And, and I didn't know what the community was like. And then I thought, oh, it's good. Everyone likes to stay fit. And then I see there's, it's, there's a little bit of a little bit of a toxic kind of culture in certain spots. How do you mean? I don't know. Maybe it's just a competitiveness or, or jealousy or something in there. But I don't know. I think 99% of the stuff he cops is positive. Yeah. But he does get a bit of grief as well. Can't he look. hasn't. He hasn't. I don't think he's got used to it yet. You can't look at the comments, can you? You can't. I do. You do. And then I double down on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, that's it's fair enough. Because I don't then, care. But, but if, you, if you get rattled by him, it could be a uh, yeah. First can't look couple. At comments. First couple, you always get rattled. You go, I can't believe this person. You go, yeah. I'm going to change. Now, now, I've had death threats with my UFC <laughs> <That's> stuff. <brilliant. laughs> I know they're not going to do it. They're all talk. 
But, oh, yeah, I don't care. If someone goes, you're terrible. Some guy said, you are the worst this is for the, the Grelka stuff. He goes, you're the worst podcast in history. Yeah. So next week we made a belt that said, world's worst podcast champion. <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> That's brilliant. And then we yeah. had a go at his missus. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, well, they, yeah. No, it's got to be fixed. Oh, the, the amount of abuse in my group chat. There is no comment in the world. The things that get said in that group chat, there is no comment in the world that is uh, going to be worse. So it's, uh, you're fine. And this is in runners, with runners? No, no th- this this is just the normal boys chat. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it's, fine. It's, yeah, I don't know if some of the stuff of that come out, it could be, uh, could be all over. I heard, and don't quote me on this, I heard that things like group chats can be used in court. If something goes pear shape, uh, if it all goes pizza, imagine Tom, yeah, we'd all be in jail. Yeah, game over. That's it. I, honestly, I could be. To be fair, I'm normally the one sending it. But, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, it's not safe. Like, I could be. I don't know. In public, saying go to go on my phone, and I have to think about it. I'm like, if I open this, what, especially Twitter, the because twi- we got a tw- we got like a we got a messenger one, we got like one with the girls and the boys. We want one just the boys. We got a Twitter one. The Twitter one's just or X where it is now. That's no old bard. Like you, because there's no filter on that stuff. You, you could, if you're in public and you, you, you can't open it because it's like this it could honestly be anything. <laughs> like it could be a beheading. It could be you. You know, yeah. It, it, it can get, you get some wild stuff on Twitter. It's yeah, no filter. So it's like you can't open it in public. <laughs> I'll wait till I go and open this. <laughs> and sometimes it's safe, but and the worst ones are um the porn one in it. The noise. The what? The, the noise, like the, the person moaning. Oh, oh my God. Because you can't turn you it can't, off. Yeah, and it's just, everyone just looks at you and it's like, oh, for God's sake. And I get done with that all the time. It's ridiculous. It's, ah, <laughs> oh, kills that, you. When that first came out, do you remember Easy Everything in the UK? It was like a ca- uh, internet cafe. It was, yeah, okay. I think it was done by Virgin. It was big in the UK. This is before everyone had internet on their phones. Yeah. This is going back. This is like early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. And I remember the first time I found it, someone did it to me there and I was in a cafe and this thing was, this computer was screaming and <laughs> no one knew how to turn it off and I went, I'm done, up and out, left everything open, couldn't care. The best one is um, when you get the stag do's or like the lads holidays and they've huh? hid, they hit, hide the speaker in the suitcase <laughs> and then turn it on so when they're at the check-in, oh, that's brilliant, that, that's honestly unreal, the pure panic in people, you see it, they're just like, ah, oh, like you got to undo your stuff, everyone's watching, everyone just leaves you, oh, brilliant, unreal. And you know. That, you know, yeah. you know, you just, you just, what do you do, what can you do, it's in your suitcase, you're like, ah, oh, and then you just got to get on with it, <laughs> Oh, some of the stuff that gets done, oh. It's so good though. Those chat groups, they, 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 I reckon they help guys mentally just almost like just release yeah. so much stress and pressure. It's it's their only place that they can really say something and know they can get away with it. There's probably no venom behind any of it. It's just funny. Oz. It, it's yeah. There, there's you get some funny ones. People will cop it. Like we 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 got one. We got one lad in our in our chat. He um Adam. He's a great. Geezer. Oh, I dropped the name. No, I dropped Adam. the name. I dropped the name. Great geezer. What a guy. He, 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 I used to work with him at Telstra years ago. What a guy. Proper um. Have you have you seen The Office? Yeah. Like the UK version. David yeah. Brent. Oh yeah. It, it's him. It's brilliant. He's honestly <laughs> the best guy. But we um he's got he's got two kids. At the time he only had one kid, and then um. I can't remember how it come about, but I think he just posted, a, it might have been just like a photo on Instagram or something. And then um, I just went to him, ah, oh, it's a bit, a bit noncy, isn't it? Touching a kid. And he went, it's my kid. I went, still a nonce. And now he's just labelled a nonce. Ever, ever since then, that's it. It's just, it's just the running joke now. And it's just like, all oh, because he posted a photo of his own kid. Like this group chat, it gets out of hand. Like, And you can see it as well, like, couple of the boys were at FIFO so when they're away oh it's when they come like you, they get about a week into their swing and they'll drop a comment and then straight away someone's like oh he's been away for a week you can see <laughs> it's just like that little angsty and then uh you, you can't you can't say anything and then have you ever heard like when someone goes oh that's a nibble like no so it's like you're baiting someone oh, you're saying okay. something to bait him yeah and then as soon as someone says something in the chat, you just go, that's a nibble, and that's it. You can't reply to it, because if you reply to it, you go, that's another one. And then it just, snow- oh, it's honestly, it's no old bard. It can be, these group chats can be dangerous. <laughs> I, I reckon everyone's the same as well. If, everyone, if everyone's got leaked out, it could be a... Uh, oh, just make sure one of those guys doesn't commit any mass crime. And then, imagine that. Imagine the police saying, we're seizing your phone and going through your like all your chats, oh, all your messages. We've got... Uh, just say, just 
make the bed for me in that jail cell because mm. I'm coming. We got a detective in our group, so we uh, we got an out. We got an easy out. Just flash the badge, and it's uh, see you later. <laughs> we'll get us out. Don't name him. I won't. Jesus. I won't. No, I won't. I won't drop his name. So, not we even talking about. Oh, we're talking about running. Yeah. What kind of music are you listen to when you're running? Uh, at the, uh, normally, it's house house music. But right at the minute, Fred again. That's what I'm listening to because he uh, he's coming next week, and I'm. If anyone if anyone knows where he's playing, hook a boy up. Get me in there. Yeah, again. yeah, he's 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 the bollocks. He he is bigger than Beyonce right he's now. Huge, isn't he? Yeah, he's in he's in New Zealand at the minute. But he's coming to Perth next weekend. Yeah, I got introduced to him. Definitely not his kind of house music, but he's he did a, an album with uh, Brian Eno. That's too. right. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Yeah, Secret Life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I um. I'm actually, hopefully, well, I've had the verbal approval. I need written approval. I'm actually using one of his songs in in a in a campaign that we got going on. Anyway, it's a different story, but I didn't realize how big he was until I started looking into him. Yeah, he, he's. I think it's like. See, he was all. He used to listen to him like years ago when like the first um, actual life albums come out, but he weren't like he weren't huge. I remember like posting him in the chat like, and no one really listened. But and then he did that boiler room set in London. And then it just like I think it just went a bit silly from there. He just it was so good, and now he's just huge. And I think as well, it's like the the unannounced. Like obviously, it's already I must I'm sure someone on his team's booking it all, but it, just yeah. turning up and going, oh, I'm here playing playing the opera house in four hours, and you got like 120 thousand people trying to get tickets. It's like I can know that's crazy. Who can arrange themselves to get somewhere in four hours? That, obviously, these people don't have kids that go on there. That's the, it's uh, next weekend, Thursday to Sunday. Just going to park myself in the city and wait for the phone to go off. <laughs> it's it's going to be a long weekend trying to trying to get to see him. Is he in the city? It, un, it, he's unofficially coming. So there's a there's an event booked at Langley Park next Saturday called High Festival. Yeah, which is the same sort of code name he used for the one over east. Okay, so, and and there there was a bit of a um, there was like an itinerary thing that got leaked, and it was pretty pretty spot on the dates. So I'm I'm almost I'd. I'd I'd bet the house it's him. Bet yeah. the house. Oh, yeah, it's like 20,000 people festival. So there's no one else it's going to be. No. Nah. I don't know. Maybe he might do a one-off somewhere but, else. Well, I, I, the show will be good, but I want to find out where he's like doing a pop-up. That's that's what you want to see. Yeah. I heard, I heard, I may have heard this through an email, may not have, Hillary's. Really? Somewhere up in Hillary. I oh, don't don't quote me on that. Okay. Don't drive to Hillary's and then all your mates say, "Where are you? We're yeah, at Langley okay. Park." How? How? Uh, oh no, Langley Park definitely. That's the Saturday. Yeah. That'll be a show. But he does like the seat, like little pop ups where he'll just post, oh, "I'm here now." Like I think that's what I heard. Hillary's. Whereabouts? I don't know. It's where. Um, who's playing there? I think like uh, same night as your event, Incubus and Live are playing there. Not. Uh, not bar one. I don't know. Nah, I yeah. don't know. I'm not sure what yeah. it's called. I'll find out. I'll find out. Yeah, let you know. Yeah, yeah. Drop, drop, out, you know. drop me that. I've I've been told a few things, and I'm like, ah, they're, they're all skeptical. I'm going to an event next uh, Thursday night, so uh, I won't I won't be at training. Sorry, Glenn. But um, when's that? Next Thursday. But there's it, there's an event, and it's an unofficial UK international DJ. So I've just sort of put two and two together and I'm going to hope, I hope I get four, but I reckon I'm going to come up with five and it's not going to be him, but <laughs> it'd be a good night anyway. <clears throat> but he, um, yeah, he's different gravy. He's unreal. Who's this? Here we go. This is my email. Let's have a look here. Um, text records. This is the guy that sent it to us. I'm not going to mention his name in yeah. case he shouldn't have, but that guy there. Yeah. And where is he? That guy there. Yeah. That's his manager. And he told you about the Hillary. Oh, no, there was nothing. No, I'm not going to say. I won't say. I'll, I'll have to cut this out now yeah, in case I get in the shit. Hang on. No, I won't. I won't. I'll just, I'll just remember. Remind me at the end and I'll yeah. tell you about yeah, that. Yeah, I will. Anyway, the reason I asked you about music, because <clears throat> I found this classic post here. Unreal. Pure cl- How good is he? He's, he's, other than Fred, best in the world. No one better. No one better than Ed Sheeran. He's just outstanding. He's phenomenal. Uh, that, to be fair, I've got a good story about him. He, tell me about, um, tell me he, about the story. So first time I ever saw him live was, I can't remember now, I think mean, it must have been like 2012 or something. It, this was like before he was sort of, he was already quite big in the UK. Yeah. The first album was out, but he weren't that big here and he played um, the convention centre. So it was only like a few hundred people. Oh yeah, small. And it was, um, like literally he took like the, 
the like amplifier out and just played acoustic like a couple of the songs. It, it was brilliant. But um, my, my older sister, a little bit of a stalker, and back in the day, she mm. she was the kind of person that would like find out where they're staying at the hotel and go wait. But she did that. And he turned up. And he was staying there, and then she was like, "Oh, like, I want to like, can I sing a song with you?" And he did, like, literally when he got the guitar out and sat, just sang with her. Really? Yeah. Uh, and this was two days before he did the the L- London Olympics open ceremony. Yeah, and he was just in a hotel lobby singing with my sister. Jeez. Yeah. He's quite. He's had some hits. Oh, I'm real. It's and, and to be fair, his best songs ain't even the the ones that he released. It's I, I don't the. For me, the first album though, first album's the best one. What's the first album called? Plus, plus. That's yeah. that came out before this, didn't it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the se- that's the second album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's, he's diff- done well. I've seen him a few times. I saw it's, where I've seen him. Seen him there. Seen him at the both stadiums, HBF and uh, where where did he play last year? Optus. Optus. Yeah, it's, it's just not the same in a big arena, is it? it? <laughs> it's not. Nah, it's it. The small arena is better, but it's still yeah, it's still quality. He's yeah. He's unreal, isn't he? He's, yeah, very, very good. It's a chance to see him before they become big. That's, yeah. But that's, then again, you don't know they're going to be big. Nah, that's it. Well, yeah, my, my music's weird because it, it literally it will go from, like, Fred again to Ed Sheeran to, like, Lewis Capaldi and then it'll just be, some, be like, Dave. And then house music, it's a shambles. You get in my car and hit shuffle, you, you don't know what's coming on. And then it'll be like, the, the Bee Gees will come on. <laughs> Honestly, it will go from one extreme to the other. But that's good because you appreciate all types of music. Absolutely, yeah. As opposed to... We'll look at um, uh, Hudson, who was in here the other day. Massive drum and bass guy. Yeah. And then we were getting into... Um, oh, I can't believe I forgot his name. He's... <laughs> He sings Hold My Girl. Uh, George Ezra. George Ezra. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, Sorry. George Ezra's decent. Sorry, yeah. George. I know you listen to this all the time. <laughs> I forgot your name. <laughs> so, but that's a good thing if you appreciate all the music. Mm. Are you into the like the British kind of the Brit pop? Oh, I love it. Like Oasis, Catfish in the Bottom. And Is there a picture down there? There we go. What's the story? Morning Glory. How Morning good was that? Yeah, unreal. I'm still into it. Unreal. I, I did this the other day. No, not the other day. I was actually lucky enough to be in the UK over the um, over the Christmas break, and I tried to replicate it, but I just couldn't do uh, it. That's, that's Berwick Street yeah, there. Yeah, I love that. But I couldn't. There were these. This was like about six in the morning. There were just these cars down there the whole yeah. time. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, they're so good. I'm funny, funny you mention them. I, I Tell me about told the boys. I told the boys this morning. I was doing this, and I was like, um, "There's a there's a like video, and it's um." From like a football show in England, like they do like the live scores, mm. and he was doing it for charity. But the other people didn't know he was doing it, and it was um, how many like uh, Oasis song titles can he drop into just like the live broadcast <laughs> over five hours? I think he got like ten or twelve or something. It's brilliant, honestly. You watch him doing it; it's so funny. I said to the boys, "I was like, should I try to do that?" I was like, "I don't know if I'd be able to do it," <laughs> but yeah, it's good. The um, aren't Man City doing a, an Oasis kit? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure they yeah, are. I'm they're, not sure. I, I think, I don't know if that's true or not, but I did, I read that is, because, you know, they're big uh, Man City yeah, fans. Yeah, that's right, yeah. They were doing um, something to to honour the 25 years since what the, What's the Story of Morning Glory yeah, came okay. out. Yeah, okay, yeah. Something. They're doing something with the kit. So I, I think they're, they're probably bucket list, oh, if they ever got back together. Oh, Oasis. Oasis. Yeah, my, my, funny enough, my dad, I think it was like 2003 or whatever in Southampton, they were playing... And he was offered like free tickets and didn't go. Where? Didn't go, yeah, to IA said, yeah, didn't go. Yeah. He yeah, Man, decided not to go and uh, yeah. I have seen Liam, seen Liam live at Frio. He was uh he was on one that night. He he's is a just, bit mad. He's too inconsistent. Uh, when he's on it though, oh, he, it, he's it, mad. It, he played majority was like Oasis songs as well. So it was me and my mate and we were just living it large. It was yeah. brilliant. Yeah. I had some hits. I think them, who else you got in the caption of what, man? DMAs, they're Australian. They're phenomenal. They're, they're, I was actually watching your... They did the version of Atomic Kittens whole again. How good is it? Put That's it on. brilliant. Wait, oh, oh, oh. She's I got a link. I've different, got a link here. It's like different here gravy. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done yeah. my speaker here as well, so... It's a bit of DMA. Hopefully they don't get me for copyright. There you go. He can sing anything, can't he? How good. Can make 
What a song. Oh. Atomic Kitten released oh. this originally. That's right. And that, that must have been like, what, early 2000s? Jeez. That was, little, that little was back bands. in yeah. the day. Yeah. Back with, uh, um, what was the other one? Oh, Spice Girls. Those, those lot. Spice yeah, Girls. yeah. There used to be some bands back in the day. Like, in the UK, we're talking early 2000s yeah. here. You had, that's when Blur was on fire. Yeah. That's Busted, what, McFly, S Club 7. Kasabian? Yeah. What, they never will be here. But DMAs, have you heard their version of um, Time and Money? The yeah. one from Melbourne? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. One? The, that's, oh. that's probably my favourite album. That live from Melbourne. Oh, the yeah, DMAs. I was going to say. Oh, wow. It's, yeah, yeah. He can so sing. He, oh, he can sing anything. It's me- and and oh, what was the Believe? The, uh, the Like A Version. Oh, I yeah. remember when that came out, and it, I think it finished like third or something in the hottest 100 that year, and I was like, hey, it's an absolute robbery. I'm pretty sure there's an Instagram video of me <laughs> drunk, absolutely <laughs> raging over it. <laughs> I was not happy, but he, he can sing anything, that boy, yeah. Is he originally from the UK? No, I think they're from Sydney. He's got, he, everything about him looks like a... Yeah, like they're, a, they're, they're, they're bigger in the UK than they are here. They're, they're huge in the UK. I think, I think they normally just sort of tour the UK. They're always over there playing... They're, they're just unbelievable, aren't they? But I, I, I don't see. Yeah, I saw them Sing. not. I don't know. It was not last year, year before. I think it was. I, I was at Freo Art Centre, but that was like I've been supposed to see them like three times. It kept getting cancelled because of COVID, and then two other times they've been here. Both times I'd like was fine in from the UK, and then missed there was a, yeah missed them. And then there was one time I was flying out of the UK, and they were playing like the next night. I was oh. like, "You're kidding me!" Like it's, I just kept missing them and then eventually saw him and they are unbelievable he honest yeah he can sing anything there's there were those ba- I was thinking still thinking about those early 2000s you had bands like Keen Keen um, are very yeah yeah Keen. My, Top Loader was good I know they only had one or two hits but that was still pretty good Top so Loader Keen like they, they, they're mad because they, they sold out like the O2 and then yeah. they came here and they played Metro's Frio <laughs> it was just like what what is going on here? They're huge in the UK, but yeah, then I don't even are they even still together? I don't know. Keen. I have seen, I did see him um he they did release they were on some morning show and they actually uh yeah, sang okay. one of their songs. He he looks a little bit different. He I think he's seen some he's seen some stuff in his day. Right, okay. I think yeah, he's had a couple yeah. of performance enhancers yeah, to get yeah. through there. Do you remember Stereophonics? Stereo- yeah, Stereophonics, they're good. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, unreal. And then they just disappeared as well. To be fair, that yeah, that British band scene, it's, yeah, someone else. Uh, in that, now, still? Uh, yeah, yeah. So who you got now? Catfish and the Bottom and just got back together. They're phenomenal. Um, you know, you've got like Blossoms, they're very good. Um, there's a few, there's a few out there, yeah. Two Door Cinema Club, they're decent, yeah. I think I'm just still stuck in that. That early two thousands, um, they all—I mean, they all sort of sound the same, don't they? Yeah. Like, the, really, they're all trying to be Oasis, yeah, but it's like the one—the one I can't stand is Arctic Monkeys. I'm not, no, not in them. The first album, unbelievable, and then from there, I just think it's rubbish. There's a couple of songs on AM that's okay, but I think it's the new stuff, especially, absolute pony. Yeah, not what are they me. trying to do though? They're just trying to change. To I think he's just a honestly. I think he's just a bellend. <laughs> just to put it bluntly, <laughs> what's his name? Um. The lead singer, I've just gone blank now, I forget his name. Um, Turner, in it, Alex Turner? No, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I've just, I've just absolutely gone blank on me. Arctic Monkeys, I spelled that wrong. Lead singer. Oh, lead yeah, yeah, Alex Turner. Actually, yeah, yeah. He, he moved to America, didn't he? And he just started talking with this shitty, weird American accent. And it was like, oh, you ain't from America, lad. Like, I think what are you he doing? wanted to sound better, wanted yeah, to appeal to that audience. But, nah, he, ain't, he ain't for me. Nah, not my cup of tea. It's a shame. It's a shame. I think why we like that music back then as well is because we didn't have access to it unless you went out and bought the CD. Yeah, yeah. My, my sister's into that. The vinyls. She she loves it. Yeah. Love the vinyl. She, yeah, yeah. She she's got quite a few. Um, she had, yeah she had the DM, she actually got the DMAs one I think, and she actually she got that one the other not long ago. The Oasis album What's vinyl. What's the story? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah decent. It is good that we need we need to get it set up actually for the apartment, but it's uh, yeah they are they are cool. Well, it was just a different time. Mm. I think just from music, because of the only time you really were exposed to it was listening to Kiss FM or something. You, Kiss had, FM, yeah, you had to get yeah. a taste of it through yeah. the radio. Then you go, yeah, I'll go out and go to a HMV or a Tower Records That's and right, buy yeah. that stuff. Yeah, HMV, wow. Yeah. Does the, do you know HMV come back? 
Uh, uh, did they close? I mean, I'm not surprised if they did. But <laughs> I didn't even know anyone's still going to those sort of shops. Yeah, they hung in there for way too long, yeah. and then they closed. And when we were there, I was talking to someone, and they said, "Yeah, they're they're reopening on Oxford Street, HMV. What would they stock? Vinyl? Just, yeah, isn't it? Like, what? Maybe just buy it all online, aren't it? And Spotify. That is Zoid. it. Yeah. I mean, I do like vinyl. I think it's a pain in the ass though to actually play vinyl. I, I don't even know how it works, to be honest. Me, so, yeah, she collects them and plays them. I don't even know how it works, <laughs> to it be does, honest with you. I think it does sound different because it's an analog as opposed to a digital. Yeah. Then again, I don't think people could tell. I think people just like to say they can tell. To make yeah, them sound I can't tell. A bit I, wanky. No, I just, yeah, very wanky. Maybe. I'll just whack it on, uh, whack on the speaker and just play. <laughs> it's the same song in it. Oh, so so much go. easier. <laughs> you can't skip on a vinyl. Remember when CDs came out and I remember you could skip forward and back in songs. Because I just remember the tapes and you had to rewind yeah, and fast forward. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I, we. I think it came towards the end of the tape generation just as I was like really young because there was a couple in the house that my mum and dad had. But yeah, theirs, theirs was mainly CDs and that. Dad used to have a huge collection of like random CDs, but no place for them now, is it? I think they come, their, their value is going to go up. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I think the CD singles are where the value is going to be because you could reproduce an album and obviously you'd have to, <clears throat> you have to reproduce, you can't re- reproduce one, but if you reproduce, say, 10,000, mm. that's 10,000 albums where it's, it's not, it, it may be financially viable, but it's not worth uh, doing singles yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. So I think singles are where it's at. But people just throw them out. I people just get the big stack of yeah, CDs just well, in the bin. That he used to just have the um like the folder. So you get take oh, out it and then just yeah. like pop them in there and then he'd be like, Oh, I'll get a CD out for it and then you like you open the glove box and it's just like <laughs> flick it through all these CDs. Did like, you have them in the in the headrest as well in the car? That's nah, where they used to have them. Yeah, they yeah, didn't didn't have any in there. It was all in these big yeah, these bigger, big black like I don't even know what they're called, like little wallet like things. Big, yeah, like yeah, a big yeah, pencil case. Right. Yeah, yeah, there. literally. Yeah, and you just flick through and what do you want to listen to? Yeah, chuck it on. Do you have a CD stacker in the car? No, nah, not in the car. Oh, no, that was no. when you were... Well, you'd made it. If you got like a seven stacker CD system yeah, in the right. car... Oh. oh, okay, yeah, and it, yeah, right. Yeah. So you didn't have to... You could put seven That's in. That's it, and then just, just flip around, yeah. That was the dream. Oh, the good <laughs> old times days. Times have changed, yeah, wow. <laughs> and you're in the... Du- we just glossed over it before. Yeah. Once again, the same person, I'm going to mention it twice, the same person that got me into running, well, not running, listening about running, Matt McGuire from the WA's Runners Podcast, or WARP, as he calls it, got me into darts. Yeah. That, and I was going to go to one of the events when I was there. Yeah. But the only tickets I could get were about £120. And I went, yeah, no, I'm not that, especially because I I was going to have to take the kids as well. Uh, But I didn't realise how big darts were. Yeah, it's like. Fills arenas like yeah, it's crazy. It it's, is madness. The atmosphere is like different. Cl- yeah, definitely wouldn't have gone with kids. It's a. Uh, it's like a. You go dress up, fancy dress with the boys on the beers. Yeah, what a time! But it, it, honestly, it's the best one in the world. Can you see? Can you see? Has it got big screens or it, something? Can yeah, yeah. See? So you got the um. The, obviously, what you can't really see what they're like. Like you have you have to look at the screen to see it. Yeah. But they'll have two massive screens next to it. Yeah. But the the like, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on this, but I saw a thing not long ago on Twitter, and it's like behind football, it was like the second most watched sport in the UK. Because you can be in yeah. any condition and throw a dart. It's just a couple of fat geezers throwing at a ball, and it's brilliant. I, I don't know what Having it is. Drinks. Yeah, yeah. It's what well, we honestly like. We grew up like in going to watch my dad play darts at the pub. He 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 um he was like number fifty in the world at one point. Really? Yeah. Shout out, Big Pete. Yeah. He oh, was, Big he was Pete. A, he was a player. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> funny enough. We were in... Um, this will be good. Th- th- I can already tell. Funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This um, <laughs> this was a couple of years ago. I was in Benidorm, of all places. Oh, my God. In Benidorm. And, um, what were you doing there? Uh, you don't want to Trying know. to get out yeah, of Benidorm? Uh, you, don't, you don't want... Yeah, <laughs> once you're in there, you do a little visit to Sticky Vicky's place. Um, uh, but I woke up, and I, I, I go on Twitter, and my dad's viral. I was like, what's going on here? And it was like Copper 90. It was like one of the biggest like football pages in the world. Yeah. And... um. Because my dad got drawn against Sam Allardyce, and he like former England manager mm. in darts, and like in in the it was like the UK Open or whatever, and my dad got drawn against him. So like he, he um and this was like I, f- I don't know it must have been like fifteen twenty years or whatever it was later, 
and they were just doing like the one time Big Sam played darts and it was like because it was against my dad so my dad's like all over like it was like the lab bible it was on there it was, or sport bible it was on copper 90 and I just went to my dad I was like you're fucking viral on Twitter right now and he was like am I and he's just proper <laughs> proper happy with himself dusting about Benidorm he's fucking gone viral I was like oh my god what's going on I, like, I messaged him like I was, I, I like quoted the tweet because they didn't mention the score. I was like, oh, by the way, Dad beat him five nil, and then they like they like retweeted it. I was like, yeah, after that, <laughs> he promised him tickets as well after the game. He never gave them to him. So, oh, yeah. really? So Big Sam can do one. Yeah, never gave him tickets to the football. So yeah, oh. he owes my dad two tickets. <clears throat> you got to keep your word. That's it. Yeah, in the UK, you got to keep your word. Yeah, he had he had Phil Taylor training for the week as well. It was it was a big deal. Yeah. Do you remember Jockey Wilson? Jockey Wilson, yeah, yeah. Why did, I mean, he was definitely not the healthiest man nah. going around. I read that Jockey Wilson, uh, only because he was the only one I ever used to remember his name, he used to drink like seven, eight pints. During, and like he used to power through yeah, those yeah, drinks yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. And the more drunk he got, the, the better. better. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a thing. He yeah. was just... And then they banned drinking. And he goes, yeah, uh, I'm it's retiring. Definitely, it's definitely not banned. They no. go out of the back and get pissed. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. they're on it. You can see them. Yeah. Like that, that's why my dad stopped playing because he, like in England it's all night time. Here the tournaments are all in the morning in the Arvo. So he's like, couldn't play unless he was drunk or had a few beers. And obviously because it was early morning, he was like, oh, I can't be asked doing this. So he stopped playing. And he, he was, yeah, he, he was a player. He could play darts. Why do they have him in the morning here? I don't know. I, I don't know if they still do. This is when we first moved there. But no, he, um, just he, stream it back there. But he, what, what a game. Yeah, he, um, yeah, I think that's probably his biggest regret, not, not carrying on. He could, yeah, he could play darts. He played for like county level. Play, yeah. yeah, he was very good. It is picking up a little bit with that, st- that place called the Fly- Flight Flight Club. Club. Yeah, Flight Club. yeah, yeah. That's a that's a go to date spot. It's uh, it's the one. If it's you not know, too you bad. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a smart one. Yeah. Is there a few of them around? I just go to the there's, one in the city. Th- there's two now. I think there's one in Frio. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just like where Newport used to be, they've changed it. Newport is Newport Hotel. still there? No, that's no, a Flight Club now. Newport's gone. Yeah, it's been gone for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's not there anymore. It's a uh, it's a Flight Club. But there's a few in England as well, like quite a lot in England. I mean, there's one like America as well. Call Flight Club, mm. and it shows you like on the board, so you can see like live where other people are playing, and it has like the stats and stuff oh, on there. Of yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. that big board, and it says darts thrown around the world. Yeah, that's right, yeah, it? yeah. It's good. it's not like normal darts. It's like mini games and things like that. It's but uh, appeals to the masses. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've got a group chat actually. Back on the group, me, me, and my two mates, we all play darts, and we got a. Uh, it's an app. And you like play against a computer and it's like tournaments and we like screenshot our scores and like put it in there. Yeah, we get proper, we proper love it. It's my, my, one of my mates just started playing for a team, so I was like, oh, sort me out. I'll come down and play. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's some sport. Honestly, I, I, it's more entertaining football. I love it. <laughs> Honestly, I I love watching every. every I've not even. I was meant to go up and watch highlights this morning, the Premier League last night. But yeah, it's. Uh, Something about just a. Have you, have you seen like the? You've seen the nine dart leg, haven't you? Like the from the World Championships a couple of years ago. It's like the greatest leg of darts ever. No, and they'd be. Oh, you've got to watch it. It's if if you've never like got into darts, you just watch that clip and then you want to watch it. The crowd like they're, they're both on like the perfect score nine dart and he, and then one misses it and then one hits it and it's in the world final. It unreal. It's on a fair bit at work. I do see it and and I see how. Uh, engage my mate is with it all how he he just puts it on and, and loves it and I, I'm I'm getting there but it's, I think it's because I'm so bad at it I have a go and yeah. I just I go for bullseye every time just yeah. so at least I'm hitting the board yeah nah um yeah it, it's not it's not easy it's a no yeah. it's it's a tough, it's a hard game I, but it's I, I don't know, I think my average is like sixty at the minute which ain't very good sixty yeah the maths that the, the yeah, the guys get, doing yeah, their yeah, head yeah. It's quick. is incredible. Yeah, that's the only time in my life I'm good at maths is when I'm throwing it at a dartboard. Yeah. It is instant. You hit one number, you can yeah. work out double, triple what you need. Yeah, it's like the only time I can be good at maths. Otherwise, I'm a pony. I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. But on a dartboard, yeah, I love it. What about the guy that's the the, the announcer that's the standing next to the dartboard? How quick yeah, he it's, is. It's, yeah, that's that's a job in itself. I don't know how you get to that. I can't do that. That's yeah. I I'll probably need like an extra second. But but then I get, you sort of you remember it. You sort of like if a treble you remember the score, I guess and they just add it up quick. But it's when they go like hit other trebles and I round I'm like, How that's too quick for me. No. Yeah. If uh, it's hitting twenty, I've got that under control. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah sixty, 20. Mate, that's it, yeah. Hit the treble is <laughs> a sixty, sorted. <laughs> 
But yeah, it's uh, what a game. They need to bring it back to Perth. They, they've stopped. They stopped doing it now. Here, they go over east. They go to um, then they go like Townsville. Like bollocks that. Come in, really? Yeah, come to Perth. Watch the darts. Should do. That's a lot of English here. Yeah, 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 love yeah. it. Imagine holding it at like the Joondalup Tavern or something. No, I think they did the the exhibition center. They get thousands. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a it's huge, 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 huge. Yeah. Okay. Well, we definitely got enough people from the UK here. Oh, if they come here, it's sell out. I think it did last time they come in. This was years and years ago. I never went, but um, I must have been like 19 or 20. Like It was a good few years ago that they came here, and they've not been back since. Maybe we should do one one fight in the PCR and alternate with one round of darts. Just darts, And then yeah. we'll sell out the RAC uh, Arena. What's, what's the... Oh, chess, chess boxing? Chess boxing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get dart boxing. We do that. that. One leg of darts and then one, one round in the ring. One of my mates set that up and did it in the backyard, like down in Willoughby. Chess boxing. Yeah, in some dodgy backyard with, you know, those backyards that, you know, you obviously you can tell it's a rental. Mm. A lawnmower hasn't seen that thing in six months. Yeah, and it's just there's just cooch grass through the whole thing. The garden's all buggered. Yeah, and yeah, they had playing chess, and as soon as someone moved, next minute it's on. Oh, that's yeah. outrageous! Yeah, it's so madness. I, I saw one the other day. It was like. Wrestling basketball. <laughs> I think Khabib started it or something. I was watching it and it's just ridiculous. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, how, how are these people playing this? Some- I'm, I'm not going to mention anything about Khabib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> followers have been gone. Yeah. <laughs> to, to be fair, actually, I'll tell you what I did play the other day. Tell me. And it's the, I reckon it's the future. Spike ball. Spike ball? Yeah. That, that? Uh, it's like you've got a little trampoline net yeah. and a ball and you bounce off the trampoline net and you just basically got to like get it to hit the ground before the other person gets it. It's so fast paced. Honestly, you, you, the calories you're burning doing it is outrageous. It's so Spike fun. Spike ball. Yeah, it's I think I might have seen that at the park. It's yeah, yeah, literally you, it's a little trampoline and he like so if you've got like a team of four, like two V two, so I'd like bounce off the trampoline, then you've got to like hit it back on the trampoline and bat it's yeah. Can you catch it? No. You can like parry it up and then you make it and hit it down. What co- what type of ball is it? Uh it's just like a little rubbery one. Yeah. It's what game though. That's the future. Yeah, spike ball. Tell you, we've and you got to you yeah. you hit it with your hand. Hit you it can't with your hand. Yeah, you can't it. like can't like cup it. Yeah, it's it's quite. There, there's some questionable though. We, we oh controversy. Yeah, there was a lot of controversy when we played it. Um, one of my yeah, the boys were getting a little bit. What was it? Rock star. We called it. Yeah, just uh, changing the rules, <laughs> doing their own thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, we we me and my mate as well. We were winning, and then they went, ah, well, the last game winner takes all. I'm not having it. We lost oh. as well, so I wasn't having it. Nah, yeah. You can't do that. It was a draw. It's two two boys, so uh, we got one more game to play. Just uh, yeah. Winner takes all. Has anyone in the lead ever suggested winner takes all? No. Or it's some muppet in the back that's down nine one. That's it. Oh, Literally, yeah. No. They they were with the we were playing we were playing first of three and it was two two all. We went two one. They went two all, and then it was like winner takes all. Nah. No, 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 no. It was two one to us. Mm. They wanted to make a two all, but then yeah, apparently it was winner takes all. I'm not having it. Nah. No. No, but no. I'll take no. I'll take a point, me. We'll take a draw. <laughs> Play again for the win. <laughs> competitive. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. That's good though. Yeah. It's it's people that it's like um <laughs> it's like people that gamble. Like, do you have a punt? Oh, stupidly. Yeah. The horses is what does me. Uh, like yeah. do you you don't have to tell me the figures. Do you punt a lot? Depends on the uh, so uh, yeah yeah okay yeah, all right no no yeah. don't let's not get into not this. not like ridiculous but like I'll I'll just leave it in the account yeah in the sports bet account so then like if it wins it'll just like build up and then yeah. if there's like a sure thing it's never a sure thing is it but yeah, and then I'll put like a little bit more on it yeah but I'm not I'm definitely down a lot <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's not pretty yeah it's not great I I didn't realize how big punting was until I started like I just drop a hint every once in a while and then just the amount of people only because I only bet on the UFC it's the only thing I yeah, bet on yeah, yeah and I've been betting since 2015 and I think all up I think I'm down about thirty dollars but I only bet a dollar each time I've yeah, never I've I, I, never higher never yeah. lower but I am absolutely addicted to to betting that dollar each week, I have to bet it. Like it's, it's weird. Yeah. So like, I, f- I feel like, on one hand, yeah, yeah, you got a problem gambling, but on the yeah. other hand, you get a dollar. Nah, still dollar, gambling. Do- dollar's not for me. That's like going to the pub and only having a beer. Pointless. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> We're gonna do it. You got to do it right. But, ten dollar minimum. <laughs> got to be. But my bets are 
14 yeah, leg yeah, multi yeah. that's going to bring in a million dollars. Yeah. What what does it for me is when you get a multi on in some like under 23 team from Azerbaijan <laughs> let you down and you're like come on lads what are you doing over there yeah it's um, how funny are some of the parlay bits of stuff you yeah, get on yeah the U- UFC is good so we do that we, the boys will go and watch like the UFC events and whack a multi on yeah it makes it more interesting oh yeah, yeah. I had um, who let me down the other day uh, who, who was it that lost to Tai Tui Versa nah nah um, uh, not Volkanovski nah um, how long ago are we the, talking he, like the last main card, um, the new one for he come from Bellator, uh, uh, Michael Page. Oh, MVP! Uh, I had him losing. I didn't think he was going to win. I thought Michael Holland. Uh, I thought um, Kevin Holland was going to win. Yeah, so did I. Uh, and he let How me down. Good. Yeah. How good is MVP? Yeah, mate, I, it's honestly it just do. He'll do my tits in. I'm like, mate, stop dicking about. <laughs> It'd be so frustrating, like just him dancing around on you. I'm like, mate, this is pissing me off. He was just so much yeah, better he was, than yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah. He wants to. Um, I think he wants to fight. Uh, Ian Gary next. <sighs> Cheetah, that'll yeah, be something yeah, else. Yeah, bigger fight, yeah. I think MVP, because he's 36 now Is that, yeah, that's, Well, that's what I thought. I was, uh, he's a bit old now coming in. Uh, but he's still that good. Yeah. I think I wouldn't mind him seeing him fight again this year and then get a title shot mm. if he wins. Yeah. It's, get him um, the title as soon as possible because if he's going to hang on to it. He's entertaining, isn't he? I mean, they do, have they got a London card? Surely. Surely do a London card and throw him on there. Oh, if it's if it's a UK card, yeah. those UK judges, it's pretty, uh, <laughs> they are the worst. Yeah, it's yeah questionable. Look, to be fair, I feel like that's a lot lot of fighting, like, especially boxing. Boxing shocking. <laughs> like some decisions, you see it, you're like, come on, man! Like this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's how good's Anthony Joshua? He's different class at the minute, isn't he? He's yeah. hands down my favorite over t- over Fury over everyone. Nah. Nah, Tyson, Tyson? Tyson Fury, yeah, Gypsy, any you got to support support the local. So I'm, I'm from Traveller community, like Gypsy family. So you got to support him. Yeah, he's he's the man. And to be fair, when he, I don't know about retired, but like when he obviously was off doing drugs and got fat. Yeah, I remember saying, I was like, if he comes back, he'll beat them all, and he did. And he come out, he's beat them all. I didn't he, think he'd still, come back. Yeah, I'd, yeah, he beat. He still beat them all. I, the Ngani fight was a bit off, but he beat them all. He beat Joshua. He'll beat. He'll beat Usyk in a couple. When's that? That's a couple of weeks, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's soon, yeah. It, yeah. It'll beat them comfortably. I used to, um, I think I've got, I think behind there's a Fury Wilder poster. And um, I I'm, used to be a huge, I was still a fan of Tyson Fury. But the Ngano fight just, just yeah. put me I off. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if he was just, he must have, he must have had a half ass camp. Must have done. But Joshua just doesn't he, mess he, around, that, does Yeah, he? that it was scary around him. And I know it's like boxing never made different, but he just folded him. His soul left his body, didn't he? And gone, he just went. See you later. If anyone thinks that they can compete with boxing that, that's coming from like MMA or a different background, they are delusional. Uh, honest, the, the best one he's done it is Connor. Him and Floyd. That was... He's the that was like he did all right. Like he obviously got beat up in floors, but he was he did all right. Like he did he's all probably right. and he was the sort of the first one, wasn't he? That did it really from MMA anyway. Like how do you feel big, about Connor? Yeah. He, oh, he's the he's the bollocks. He's my favorite. Yeah, he's he's quality. He needs they need to hurry up and give him a fight. Yeah, he, I when, love him. When he beat Eddie Alvarez, I thought this man is untouchable. Yeah, I reckon that's the most any combat sport. I reckon that's the most like. Perfect performance I've ever seen from anyone. He just he was unstoppable. Yeah, it's absolutely unstoppable. Yeah, scary. And then scary he had too game. much time off. Do you know he fought Eddie Alvarez in December 2016? Yeah, I, I, funny enough, I saw that the other day, and I was I, I rewatched the um the thing on Netflix, and it was like the Aldo fight, and I was I couldn't believe how long ago it was. I was like, it's wow, a long time ago. Yeah, and and what's he fought like? When he had like a couple of years off, then he fought, then he had another couple of yeah, years two, off. Then, yeah, two against Diaz, where he went one on one. Yeah. Beat uh, beat Cowboy Cerrone. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and Habib lost to Habib. Yeah, and, and then, then Cowboy. Went, yeah, and, and then Floyd. And then was twice to Dustin Poirier. Yeah, at um, who would he fight if he came back? Uh, it's got to be Chandler, isn't it? It's uh, it's that, that makes sense. I, I'd I'd rather just see him fight Diaz. Just do it the third fight. That's what I want to see. But I guess it's always there because if he loses, it's what do you do with him? And he just do that fight, can't he? Because it's still going to sell. But to be fair, he, even when he loses, he wins. He's a promotional genius, isn't he? He's so good. Jake Paul has done something that... Um, <laughs> I know he's fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 
He's 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 done something. He's he that man's a genius. Yeah, I got to say. Oh, listen, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of his boxing. Yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. He's More than likely he'll beat me, but he's if he thinks he is top twenty, he is once again delusional. Well, he got pieced up by Tommy Fury, didn't yeah. he? And he's he's rubbish and all. So <laughs> there you go. But I mean, fair play to like you got if he's making money and he's he's um. He fought an Uber driver, didn't he? He's like, last <laughs> fight. That, was, that yeah. was pretty bad. Yeah, so things like that are questionable. That's just stat padding the record, don't it? Just to, it it, it'll probably fight Canelo as well. It'll happen. And he, he'll probably fight McGregor as well. It'll, it'll happen. He is going, after this fight, he's have with Titan. He's going to have the bragging rights as the most watched yep. live ever of all time. Yeah. And he's not going to just have it. He's going to destroy. I mean, he'll get overtaken very yeah. soon because someone else will do it. But the fact that he's made it free on Netflix yeah, live, yeah. that was genius. Absol- when I saw that, I went, oh, my God. And it's just going to be, I don't know, it'll be a draw on it. It'll, it'll, uh, is it even a fight? Is it ex- <clears throat> What are they doing? Is it, is it an actual scored fight, exhibition, or is I'm it going sure. to a record or what? Yeah, they were discussing the rules. And mm. I think I think the gloves are eighteen ounce. Yeah, big just, gloves, yeah, just big pillows, yeah. maybe. Yeah, it's um. To be fair, him and him and KSI YouTubers that would be the biggest fight. KSI can fight that 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 would be bigger than any actual fight numbers wise. They did that on YouTube. It'd be scary. <sighs> that would scary be scary numbers. But yeah, I reckon I'd surpass all of them. The only one he can probably well is McGregor in it if he fights, but. There's no one else really. There's no one. I'm even like Canelo. I'm not asked when he fights. I don't. Bother me. Why? Why aren't we? Why aren't we interested yeah, in Canelo? I don't know. He's just boring, isn't he? He's just yeah. I, I don't know. Like the the English ones, you watch them like Fury, Joshua, Dillian White, any of them boxing. But I mean that's just because they're English. But yeah. anyone else, I'm not I'm not really asked. Dillian even, White. Even right now in the UFC, like no one there really. It's like entertaining. There's some guys trying to be entertaining. Oh, they're all, yeah, they all want to be McGregor, don't they? That's, they all do. Yeah, which, fair enough, bloke's a billionaire. <laughs> so so why would you not want to be him? But yeah, yeah. but he, um, yeah, I don't know what his next, if he loses the next one, he's he's on the, on the beers too much, isn't he? He loves it. Well, not just the beers. Not just well, the, on beers. the gear, Yeah, his eyes are pinging in like, every interview. You're like, I know what you, you can, can do, just mate. Sell. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it'd be an interesting one. I hope, I hope he wins. I think I think we're, the world's better when he's talking shit and beating people. Yeah, it's, a, it's more entertaining, definitely. If you think Eddie Alvarez was nearly eight years ago, mm. and since then, what's he had? Three, four, five, six fights. Yeah. Imagine if instead of six fights, he'd done two a year. Yeah. And he's consistently fighting. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what he's trying to do. He keeps saying he wants to do it. But I think he's got two fights left or something, they were saying. In the contract. So it's like, they probably just, they don't want him gone. No. Once that's done, then he can go do what he wants, can't he? But, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. Because they'll have to give him a pay-per-view and they'll have to give him yeah. the main event. So it must either have to be a garbage card because they can't put a mm. non-title fight ahead yeah. of a uh, of a... They can't put a non-title fight ahead of a title fight yeah. if it's on the same card. But... To be fair, it don't matter. It's going to be the most watched fight of the year in it in the UFC if he's on it. UFC three hundred was custom made for him. Yeah, yeah. It's why they did, it's stupid. I think he was on um, Ariel Hawani's show yesterday. I was watching it. I think they have got a date now. He was saying they're announcing it soon. But um, I think fight June. I think they were saying. But with Chandler, yeah, with Chandler. I bet he wants to do that and then Diaz in September. Is what he was saying. But I think Dana White just went. No, nah, I'm not doing it. No, just, just makes get yeah. Like, just just do it, man. Just do it. It'd be good. Do you think Chandler would take a dive? Nah, surely not. Surely that doesn't go on. I'd love to believe. I'd love yeah. to believe it didn't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, nah, I don't think so. Nah, I, I, I think McGregor beat him. I think Aljamain Sterling took a dive against Sean O'Malley. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Being offered a lot of money, it's it's a tough one. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Tyron Woodley against Jake Paul. Tyron Woodley, yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, I was, yeah, and the the Ben Askren one that was a that was that was horrible. To oh, watch. he didn't that care. Was fucking horrible to watch. <laughs> he just rocked up, got got knocked down, got paid. He was like, "See you later." I don't give a bollocks. But to be fair to him, who who did he? I can't even remember. When it when it's silver, did he fight silver? 
Uh, Anderson Silva. Yeah. Uh, Logan Paul. Didn't La, he? Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Right. Yeah, yeah. Logan yeah. Paul can fight. Yeah, he was all right. Yeah, he was, he was actually quite decent. I was like, I was entertaining to watch, yeah. Anderson Silva can box. Yeah. Well, L- Logan Paul got offered the Tyson fight before Jake Paul. Did he? Yeah, certainly. He was on his podcast. Yeah, he got offered it, but he it weren't as much money. Or something like that. He said it weren't, uh, it weren't Netflix and it weren't that, but he got offered that fight first, yeah. <sighs> I reckon Mike Tyson might be in some financial trouble. <sighs> it's got to be something going on there. Fifth, was he fifty-seven? He's, he's old. Uh, it's. I mean, a, I'm still a scary motherfucker. Anyway. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I mean, that man's you, made some bad you financial wanna, decisions. Uh, well, he owned a tiger, didn't he? <laughs> how <laughs> do you go? Right. How do you go about fucking buying a tiger? Like, how much money have you got? <laughs> it's stupid. He went it's broke. Money. Yeah, I think he invested a lot of money in one of those marijuana farms or something. Yeah, he has it now. Then he's minted. Do you think? Yeah, yeah apparently we were talking about on Rogan money. I mean, but people can say one thing. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's like some of these these so called influencers who just talk about how much money they make, and uh, it's not true. You no one's it. doing background checks. Get the ATO in here, then we'll see how much <laughs> money they're making. Imagine the ATO. Imagine if we had someone in the ATO yeah. could actually fact check this stuff. Uh, it's, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah. Because if I said, "Listen, for doing these interviews, they're uh, the PCR, Glenn and Nige are paying me hundred thousand an episode for this." No one checks it. It gets published. Pe- people yeah. think I'm got all this cash. Happy days. Yeah. It's not. They don't. They don't pay me anything. <laughs> <laughs> sort of man out some money. <laughs> <laughs> no, they let me attend the event, and it is a spectacle. We're in here, actually in here for the PCR. We'll get on that later. What else have we got yeah. here? You're a. Oh, this is changing topics. Yeah. You're a sci-fi fan. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, What's this Lord of the Rings thing? You Lord, yeah, Lord. Oh, that's Harry oh, Potter. Yeah, that's, that's Harry Potter. Yeah, that was um, that was when I was living in England. Yeah, that just went to Harry Potter world. That's that was very cool. Is that the one in um, uh, not Watford? Watford. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I went there. I saw this picture. That's all colour now. Yeah. Do you know what makes me surprised? That is how small that is. Like when you're in there, it's not like it, obviously it's got quite big, but like that makes it look like it's like head height sort of thing. But it's not. It's like down the you're above it, isn't you? And it's not that. It's not huge. Are you talking about the one right at the end? Right of the, the tour? end, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was pretty big. No, I didn't. There was a lot of detail in it. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, that's that's what they used to film like the aerial shots, and isn't it? Like a drone fight. It's crazy. It looks real to me. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that it was snowing on there. They had like a oh like really? A yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was lights or something, mm. but it looked fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah crazy. The only reason I bring this up is: Have you seen the wait list? To get to Harry Potter World in the UK, in, America, no, in the UK, <clears throat> that that the the studio tour, yeah, no, I just checked it here. If I want to go, the next available date is May twenty. <laughs> like there's about that's outrageous. There's normally like about a four or five month wait to get there. Yeah, right. I didn't know that. I think we booked in at the end of August, and the earliest we could get in was the start of Jan. That's crazy. And that's through uh, winter as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember. Oh, my sister booked it. No, they were over from they were over visiting when I was living over there, and then we went and done it. Yeah, they pumped a lot of money into that little town, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, what? Yeah, Watford is a bit of a shit out there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot else going on there, to be honest. But I do remember the whole town is Harry Potter, though. Yeah, yeah, literally everything yeah. is yeah. Harry Potter, but it's done well. I mean, yeah, it's no Lord of the Rings, but it's. Uh, I think every English kid though in it in the two thousands, growing up, it was Harry Potter. That was uh, oh, every kid still wears it uh, yeah. for book week. Gets yeah. a Harry Potter yeah, cloak. I read the books as well. The books were good. Huh? Yeah, I've read them a couple times. I've only watched the movies, mate. I don't have time to read books. <laughs> um, so this is. I was just. Gonna, we're just talking about suburbs. I was going to lead on to it. Your mates with Billy Quincroft. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Big Bill. Bosh. <laughs> Bosh. I wasn't going to tell this story, but I will. Uh, he is from Dagnum. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and he's, he called it, not me, he called it a shithole. When I was in the UK, I uh, this is in December, December, January, I thought, i got to see this place. i got to see what it's like. Yeah. So I got on the train and I headed out there to Dagnum to actually. Have you ever been there? No, no. That's an accurate description of that place there, right? I got, I got there, I got the train there, and I got out on the um, uh, where the train stops, and I was on one side of this platform. And you ever walked into somewhere, and you're not, you're not ready for it, and then suddenly you think something's really wrong here. I think I just got it on a yeah, bad yeah. day. Yeah. 
but I luckily, luck, thank God I was heading east, is I got off and there was all, there was just added ass track suits as far as I could see, just all the little kids. And all the kids on this side were white and all the kids on the other side of the line weren't white. Mm. And it was a big divide yeah. in the community. And some of the abuse that was getting, they were using words, I didn't know what they meant, but I got there and it, it just felt very, I wouldn't say intense, but I, I see what Billy Quincroft yeah, was talking right, about. Yeah. It, it definitely it wasn't the Ritz there, so no. not bagging out Dagenham. That's not London way, isn't it, Dagenham? Yeah, yeah it's it's yeah. like east east yeah. London. Yeah, no, I've not not been there myself. But yeah, to be fair, most places in England ain't ain't great. Yeah. They have their spots. They do, yeah, like the countryside. So I, I, I um, Southampton way, like lived in Winchester. So Winchester, you do that, uh, that's. Lovely, like when when you go like St Catherine's Hill and places like that, it's really nice. Winchester and Hampshire, that's the one. Yeah, that yeah. is the one. The Winchester, massive. Yeah, and you're a Southampton fan. Um, yeah, the local team. Does Winchester have a team? Yeah, Winchester City. Yeah, not a fan. Uh, nah, they they, they, they play in like um you know, like the Southern League now, I think. But yeah, nah, just the local. Like, it'd, be, it'd just be the same as like Perth Soccer Club. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but but they're in the Champions League. In, the, uh, uh, Southampton. South, no, no, no. We're in the the championship. Yeah, championship, yeah, not fourth. the Champions yeah, League. Yeah, Jesus, right, yeah. that's we got right. relegated last year, uh, and then we, uh, we we've had a bit of a torrid few years. To be fair, how after m- after a good run, how many games in the season? Uh, the championship, there is what like forty odd, forty odd games. Yeah, but then that's without cup games. That's without. It's a long season. So the season's still going at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't finish till May. Yeah. So Southampton are currently sitting in fourth. Yeah, we're in the playoff spot at the minute. We so can. What's the table there? What are we on? Some, yeah, we we could we could nick second. We went like twenty five games unbeaten, and we only moved. I think we went down. We went down a position by the end <laughs> by the end of it. Twenty five <laughs> games. That's how hard. It's like the hardest league in the world. It's the hardest league in the world. The championship. Yeah. It's, Is it because everyone wants to go up? Uh, it's that, but like everything is just so close. Like every year, like the points from like the middle to the bottom or like top to bottom is so close. It's just like you're a game away. You're, you're like three wins away from like being at the top or three wins away from being at the bottom. It's so tight. It's ridiculous. What, why is that? I, I is don't that know. due to the draws or just no, due to No, it's just like, I think it's just the sides are just so even. Yeah. And then you, normally you get a bit of a divide now. Like the teams that come down, it's like us, Leicester, um, like those ex-Premier League teams, they get a bit of money. So like you, there, there is normally a little bit of a gap. Like now you're the top four. And then there's like a bit of a drop off from us to West Brom. Down to West Brom. Yeah, but then from there it's close again. But what happened to Leicester City? Oh, it's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah, won the league and then relegated a few years later. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. They were paying they were paying five thousand to one at the start it's of crazy, the season, and yeah. they win the league. It's unheard of. Like, what happened? It won't, it won't happen again. No, I don't think so. I, I, honestly, I don't. It was one of those. You just kept waiting for them to lose or like. Fall off. It got to Christmas. Like, that's like the thing. I don't know why it's weird in football, but especially the Premier League you, being top at Christmas. Yeah. I think mean, like. Is it a bit of a curse? No, nah, no. Nah, most teams win if you're top at Christmas. Most most teams go on and win it. I don't, I don't know what it is, but they do. And then um, they'll, they'll sort of top at Christmas. Then it got to like January, and you're like, ah, they got Man City away or whatever. They lose there, and then and then they win there, and then you're like, oh, okay. And then it gets to like March, and you're like, nah, they got uh, they'll drop points here, and then they keep winning. You're like, and then it's like May and. They're about two weeks away from winning the league. You're like, what the fuck? What's going on here? How have they done that? They just kept winning. Yeah. And that, that was during a period where we were doing really well as well. We went from like, what do we do? We did like League One to the to the Europa League in like three years or four years or whatever it was. Yeah. Saints had a bit of a run. Okay. We, well. we had some top players. Some side we had back back then. And well, how is it now? Pony. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah, it's no good. How's Derby going? Derby County? I don't know, actually. They, they were struggling financially. I don't know what's... I don't know. I don't even know what lead. I think they're in League One. No, I mean, they're, really? They're in they're League One, yeah. Jesus. I don't think they're in the Championship. They're not. They're not League One. I used to be a Derby fan only because of Brian Clough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was the only reason. And then <clears throat> I went there. Yeah. Have you ever been there, Derby? Yeah. No. no. Shit tell. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a common theme here, isn't it? It's saying English shit. English no, shit, shit I'm trying. I'm trying to get the family to move there. No, um, Nottingham was rough. Yeah, okay. Nottingham was. I, I, I. That's the only place I think I went that I at that and Derby. I just wanted to see the Brian Clough statue. Yeah, yeah and okay, it was yeah. just a nightmare that yeah. whole place. So, but <laughs> no, nah, I mean there's shit holes in Perth. There's shit to holes be there. fair, yeah, you're not. You're not wrong. There is. There's Leeds in there. 
Leeds United, yeah, so they're flat. Yeah, they're, are they top now? Yeah, yeah, they've played an extra game, I think, though. Yeah, so they've played two games more than us. Leeds, oh, they just sold everyone, didn't they? Back oh, the they should never got rid of Bielsa. Like when when a couple of years ago, and then uh, yeah, back in the like early two thousands, they were aside. They had a few Aussies in there as well. They had Viduka, they had Harry Kuehl, yeah. they had Rio Ferdinand. He was yeah, in there. Ferdinand was there. Jacob Jacob Burns, another one. He's, he played for Perth Glory. He was there. They um, had they had the names back. Had then. a team, yeah, they're decent. And then yeah, just, just sold they them got to, Yeah, I think they got to like Champions League semi final, whatever the quarter final, something like that. Yeah, and then that's the thing. That's what that, that's what happened with us. Like, we had a hell of a team. But then you, you, no one's going to stay, so you sell them. So we had like Van Dyke, we had like Tadic, Lallana, we had a team. But when, then you just know they're not going to stay. How does that work with the contracts? Is when you say they're not going to stay, just it, it's weird in football. Like, there are contracts, but like if you want to leave, you can get you can get a move. Really? You just, they just kick up a fuss and just not play. Yeah, it's it's really I, I don't because you, you're in, you're well within your right. Just go, no, you got a contract, mate. Like you're playing, but very rarely, very rarely. The clubs do it. It's odd because you can play for one team one week and then a different team the next week. It is the transfer window. You could, yeah. There are like certain rules, like cup competitions. You get cup tied, so you can't play. Um, like like the FA Cup, if you play for one team and then transfer to another team, you can't play in that so competition. You can't go on a six week loan. Yeah, <laughs> so you just got yeah the yeah the loan rules a bit of it. Yeah, the loan rules are a different one, but yeah, it's um yeah, it's interesting. Definitely, it's same thing here in Perth. Uh, it's uh, they've actually I think they have done like a transfer window now there is one now and then it never really used to be so there's like a certain time period where you can like bring players in or get rid of them but how good would a mid-season trade period be well, that, that's what they do in in January in the UK or in Europe there's even here as well I think yeah I don't actually know what the, the A-League transfer window is I'm not sure if it's the same but I know in, in Europe it's January mid-season but it rarely rarely will a big move happen like most clubs have got their stuff organised in there. It's more like little moves away or whatever, but yeah, rarely you'll get a big move in January. Do you think maybe the moves are more common is because the relocation isn't that far? I know it's still a different city, but it yeah. might only be like 200 mile away max. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, We're here. But if you're AFL, yeah. you get transferred. You're on the other side of the country. Yeah. It, uh, it's a weird one for football because players don't get a say a lot of the time. It's kind of just like, I know like the agents or whoever, they'll just sort of say these people are interested or whatever. Uh, there's been like some stories where people like, it's like deadline day. Like, yeah, and then they just get told, oh, you're going here, by the way. Like we're selling you. And then they're off. So you, you, there's some weird stories. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah. If, if, you, if your club's like panic buying in the mid, like mid-January window or like deadline day, they're not very organised. No. Get it done early, yeah. June, July. I suppose the most famous one happened with Beckham when he went to... Um Real Madrid, Real Madrid, Real Madrid yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, he knew he was going, didn't he? And then, yeah, Fergie went happy about that one. Yeah, whose call was that to go? I, I think I've he fell out with Ferguson, didn't he? <laughs> he fell out. They they fell out over. Um, well, that it, the documentary was good, wasn't it? And it, I think a lot of it was with his, about his misses. Like he was just dicking about, <laughs> doing all the other stuff, not playing football. But yeah, I know Real Madrid. Yeah, they wanted him, and then that was it. And he just sort of cold shouldered him. Fergie did. But yeah. he's, he's done that. He's done that with a few. He did that with Roy Keane. Um, yeah, he's done that with a few Fergie. players. Yeah, yeah. People going about his man management, but uh, questionable. Well, since he's gone, Manchester United aren't what they used oh, to be. Oh, and I love it. I cannot stand them. Yeah, <laughs> I love. I love seeing Man United fail. I hate him. Yeah, I'm not a not a Man United <clears> fan. Yeah. Would it, someone ever go from Manchester United you know, to Manchester City? It's happened, yeah. Uh, Peter Schmeichel played for both. There's a few. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's um, there's a couple. Goal is a bit different, though. Yeah, but not, not so much now. I don't, I, like especially to go from there to there. Like if you, most people go like somewhere else first, then maybe go there. But hmm. I, I don't know. It's more like would they even sell? Because it's going to be a big player if it's if you're selling them. Hmm. But then if you're offering 100 million. Gone. Yeah, why not? Do you remember Sol Campbell? Yeah. Because he went from Tottenham to... Arsenal. Arsenal, that's right. <clears throat> and I do recall seeing footage of... This is when things were a bit looser back in mm. the day in the crowd. They had big life-size dummies of Sol Campbell in the crowd hanging. Like they had a noose around the neck and someone lit it on fire in the crowd. Yeah, right. Yeah, and I went, oh, that's a bit harsh. Yeah, Firstly... Yeah. 
the hanging bit was a bit harsh yeah. due to a number of reasons, but yeah, and then set fire to it. Yeah, it, it, that was. There's been a. There's been a few. We had um, like Southampton. We had a couple of players that played for Portsmouth. We had the manager Harry Redknapp. He was manager of Portsmouth, and then ended up Harry Redknapp, I know. And then yeah. he came to Southampton, and then he got us relegated and went back to Portsmouth. <laughs> bastard. <laughs> 2005. Yeah, it was like Clough that. with Le- the Dam yeah, United. Clough, yeah, how good was that movie? Ah, oh, so good. Quality. Yeah, so good. It's yeah. Yeah, that side of things, the management side of things is very interesting. And the stories as well, like listening to Harry Redknapp now, you can listen to him all day. The stories he got are hilarious. They're so good. Just like the stuff that, some of the stuff that goes on you wouldn't think. And it's just, no. yeah, it's, yeah, you think professional football is this big organised world. But yeah, some of the stories are just hilarious. Yeah. It's just a mess. Yeah. Because being um, England manager would have to be the greatest honour for any any English player or coach? I think it's probably the biggest job in world football, the England job. I'd say, yeah. I remember, I remember Sven Goran, uh, Sven Goran Eriksson. Yeah. Is that how you say? Yeah, he passed him. away recently. No, no, he's he got cancer. Oh, is that yeah, what it was? I think he got terminal oh, okay. cancer. Yeah, so he's yeah. But I remember when he got the job, and there was a huge uproar about bringing a, a foreigner in mm. to do it. Yeah, and he was. I mean, they obviously didn't do well in the World no. Cup that year. That's the Beckham kicked. Um, Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, and got sent off. Same year, I'm pretty sure. Nah, and you're, that um, that was the World Cup going? against Argentina. Nah, yeah. that was 2000. And, I want to say two. 2002. What am I? I'm thinking of the one yeah. before. It might be 98. Around that was there. when yeah. Sven was there. No, nah, Sven was um, Sven later. No, nah, yeah, Sven was like mid 2000s. Really? Yeah, yeah. So Jeez, Germany World Cup 06. Um, <laughs> I think the Euros, maybe the Euros 04, maybe, yeah, but it was mid 2000s, Sven. And then it was, uh, and then we had um, Steve McLaren was there for a bit, Fabio Capello, yeah, we've had a few. Can you imagine if the UK, if, if England actually, uh, could uh, you, uh, I'd love to I see them in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah, the, just the euphoria, like, just, just when England are doing well in a major tournament, it's like, Oh, it's unreal. Like the Euros this year, it's coming home. We win this is the one. <laughs> yeah, we say it a lot, it's but I mean it. Like, that's it. It's, it's coming home. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we um I say it I say it every tournament, but I mean it this time. I was joking all the other times. This time we are actually gonna win it. We, oh, I would love to see, I would love to be yeah. there when they did it. I just I couldn't imagine <clears throat> just like the streets of England it, it it'd just be chaos for like a weekend it'd just be no nothing will get done every it'll just be pandemonium and it it'll, honestly it'll be unreal it, yeah what a thing to bring the country together yeah, though literally yeah well you saw it in the the last um the last euros it was in england when at the final we lost the final with italy and it was just like everyone we fought we really fought especially when we went one and up in like the first minute and i, I remember just like with the boys watching it, and I was just, we, we're just going mad. We're like, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to win it. And then, uh, and then we didn't. And then, yeah, there was a few. The one for the World Cup as well. We lost in the semi final. We that that was. I think that was the one we should have won. I just, yeah. I, I think it, it'd be so good for for the UK. Uh, it, yeah. If, if if we don't now, I don't know when because that team we've got now, I don't think there's Strong. a better team. There's not a better team in world football, probably on paper, national football. The French are always up there. Argentina are all right. The team but on paper, though, can often... Do you remember the um, Netherlands, the Dutch? They had, yeah, on yeah. paper, they were yeah. always the best team. Well, it was England, mid-2000s. You had, like, Gerard, Lampard, Scholes, Ferdinand, Beckham, Rooney, Owen. Like, you say those names and you're like, how the hell did we not win anything? And then, yeah... They were just the world's best. Yeah, literally. Michael but, but Owen? He, he, oh, he, oh, my God. As much he's boring as batshit to listen to, but mm. people, he won the Ballon d'Or. People forget how good he was. Like He was unbelievable. He was young as well. Yeah, yeah, he really some, young. Yeah. Yeah, when he was at that, that time when he was at Liverpool, he was flying. Injuries ruined him, but... Do you remember those two goals he scored? Um, God, it must have been back in 2001. He put those two past uh, David Seaman. Uh, for, the, for Liverpool, yeah, against <laughs> Arsenal, yeah, yeah, two goals. He's, yeah, he, what a player he was. But he, even now, like you, you look at the team, you are like Bellingham, like Declan Rice, players. They like could that. do it. Kane, yeah. Do they come together though? Oh, he, seem, they put, he seems to have done it. Southgate, he seems to have brought them together. But it's whether or not. Um, it used to be very divided. Like yeah, the, the Liverpool yeah, wouldn't yeah, train right. with the Arsenal. Yeah, ones. they wouldn't sit together and things. Yeah, so he, he, the culture's right there now. He's he's done that. I don't, I don't think he's the world's best football coach. Like he's he's all right. I think tactically he's probably cost us a couple of times. 
yeah. in the tournaments, like with decisions he's made. But actual, yeah, team morale and getting the team together, he's definitely done that better than anyone. He's got the team with that, and people want to play for him. He's favorite. I think he's like. Let's talk of him getting a Man United job after this. Could you imagine the egos you're dealing with? Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, yeah. What would be the worst crazy. team in the world to deal with? Do you reckon for oh, egos? Well, I'd have to be like probably Barcelona, but that, not not Spanish mate, or PSG, so. mate, and that's not even probably the players. That's the the back room as well. The board, like the the people above you. It, it'd be tough. It'd be really hard. It would be but when, when it's you, that much money and that much pride. When yeah. money's not an object anymore, it's about pride. Yeah. We got to win. Yeah, uh, PSG would be a tough one because they're they're always chasing the Champions League and they just can't win it. That'd Is that be, Paris Saint Germain? Yeah, yeah. That, that'd be that'd be a tough job. But um, we, well, yeah, Potter was the manager there, won the league and then got sacked. <laughs> so because like, they didn't win the Champions League, so it's like, wow, okay, there you go. Yeah, so won the league, didn't get the Champions. Yeah, didn't win the Champions League and then he was gone. He's at Chelsea now, but. That'd be yeah. a good. That'd be a sweet gig at Chelsea. Oh, just yeah, minted in it. It's uh, I don't. They're not, they're not doing too well at the minute, but he's a good coach. Yeah. How much is enough though with money with these guys? I don't, I don't think anyone's <coughs> running a football club at a profit. You can't be. It's the money's. Yeah, the money's scary. Do you reckon it's a loss? Has to be. When you're thinking like transfers and things like that. It, to be in that top echelon, mm, it'd have, yeah, to, have be to be yeah, the you, pride thing. Yeah. Hey, how's um, Rexford going? Do you ever see anything about them? Because they were bought by... Um, Wrexham. 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 Uh, uh, I don't know how they're going in the league now. Let's I have they're, a look. They're in the football league now. <clears throat> Let's have a look they're here. In league two. League two, league one. Where are we? Uh, Wrexham FC on the ladder. Where are they going to be? They're third, in football yeah, league third. two. Yeah, 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 they're third. third. They're so. doing all right. Because that was based on um, running, getting an undervalued team and running it out of profit. Pretty, yeah, they've, they've done very well, to be fair. And it, they've done a lot for the community there and all. It's, that's another big thing. They've pumped some money in. But uh, the playoffs last year, how they got how they got through was unbelievable. Yeah, They've been screwed over a few times in the past. You could yeah, see why. Yeah, if you go yeah. into their history, you can see why they were gone. It's, it's too bad. Hard. Yeah, the football league's bad. There's like Reading right now. They're like very close to like going out of business it's the only like to get some ready yeah yeah you get some dodgy owners and i don't know how they get past uh so the bloke who owns them he like he tried to buy someone else and got rejected because he was, wasn't uh wasn't viewed as like a fit and proper owner and then they let him buy Reading, and now it's they i think they're about to sell the training ground uh, yeah it's yeah shambles and they're, they're they're a big club what would a club be worth Oh. Not like Man United. I don't even want to know. Maybe billions, yeah. Like, like it's like I don't know. It'd be in the it'd be in the millions. If I said, listen, I'm Multi. looking to buy Grimsby Town. Grimsby Town. <laughs> Shout out Grimsby Town. Shout yeah. out to Grimsby. Uh, that quality little pocket of the UK. Yeah. If you said, all right, listen, I want to buy Grimsby. I know where. Oh Jesus, they are not going well this year, are they? Not nah, struggling. Let's have a look. We should actually look. What do you reckon? Before I hit it, I would. S- so we're talking like everything to so training ground club everything, everything you buy. Uh, just walk in walk out I reckon uh, between 6 and 10 million pound? yeah I'm going to get less I'm going to get about 3 yeah, okay. I'm going to get about 3 let's have a look 4.5 4. million pound for Grimsby uh, Jesus that's Euros Oh, that's euros. Euro, so I don't even know what that is. That's about pounds, yeah. it's about double, so yeah. about eight. It's about eight million. Eight yeah. million dollars for Grimsby. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. But then that's just like probably not even taking into I don't players wages and everything you're taking over. There'd yeah. be some overheads. Yeah, it'd be a lot. Yeah. That'd be a rough game. It's a lot of money, yeah, to get a football club these days. Yeah. Maybe it's just bragging rights. Oh uh, yeah, I, I think it's just, it's just gotta be an owner who just you That's enough money it. that you don't care, yeah. Like you had Abramovich at Chelsea, wasn't it? Just billionaire, didn't care. Throws oh. money about. It'd be tough living that life, wouldn't it? Yeah. We've been speaking about football for about two hours here, and we haven't mentioned your football team yeah. at all yet. Let's mention it now. Tell me about Come On Glory, Come yes. On Glory. Yeah. yeah, what a song that is. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm the uh, the under-15s head coach, yeah, at Perth Glory at the minute. Yeah, Very nice. Yeah, loving it. My first season there. Yeah, it's really good. Loving it. Yeah, yeah. Where do you Where do you hope to go? What do you hope this leads to? I uh, hopefully just in the professional game in the yeah. in the I guess in the long run senior football. But that's uh, 
that's a long way down the line. Got to, the qualifications and the, the experience, and yeah, yeah, definitely. Even I don't know how people will think about it, but even though it's like the the fifteens, that's still quite an honour. Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah, be, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is not an easy task. That's not. Nah. That's not like coaching the Inglewood Tigers under fifteens because mm. you're the only dad that rocks up. Yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, it's the only obviously the only professional club in WA. So yeah, it's a, definitely an honour to be to be involved there and get the opportunity. Definitely. Yeah. Where do you guys train? Uh, we're out in Claremont at the moment. Yeah. yeah so we, we train there. Um, the seniors are over at uh, the A League team. They train in Frio. Yeah. Do they still use? Um, is it called HBF Stadium? Is that what it's nah, called? So yeah, they, 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 we're sort of in and out of the football centre as well. Like games played there, the Sam Kerr Football Centre. Where's that? Uh, Queens Park. It's like the rel- relatively new. I think it was last year. I wonder if they're going to keep the name Sam Kerr. We'll see how we'll okay. see how this plays out in court, all right? Maybe won't. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very some thoughts on that one. But. Probably won't say him. Can't leave that yeah. out. We've all got some thoughts. Yeah. yeah. So um, you guys, so you, is this almost like obviously you you're mm. very focused on this 15s team. Yeah. But is junior football sort of like a, not a stepping stone because that sounds like you're taking away the mm. the honour of that job? But is this in hope to lead up? To, to possibly coach coach possibly the men. So I've already done it. So I've co- coached seniors. So the last last three years I've been um, at Bayswater City. So I've been oh, there. just down around the corner. Yeah, yeah, lit, yeah. Just over at, at Drago. Yeah. yeah. So I was the under twenties head coach and um, assisted with the first team as well there. So that that was over the last three seasons. So we got we got to the final last year. We did. It was it was good over a couple of years and then. Uh, so now, yeah, stepping into juniors. But some some people make a career junior junior football. There are some like phenomenal coaches that. Their their expertise is just progressing youth players onto the onto senior football. Some people are just really good at it. So, I mean, me personally, in the long run, yeah, I definitely want to go back into the seniors. But I'm yeah, loving it, loving it with the juniors at the moment. That space is good. It ha- there'd have to be a level of enjoyment with the juniors that you don't get with the seniors because yeah, there wouldn't be this. Maybe there is, but there wouldn't be the same egos and the same. No, nah, the boys are good. They're they're they're, they're quality. You can. And and they're like sponges. They just want to learn. Yeah. So they soak up, and the the quality as well. The standard's really good. They're they're top players. So with us, we're probably it'll be under 15s, but most of the lads are probably a year, year and a half younger. So we'll play get them on for so a couple of years. So we'll, so we'll, we just play them up, just because if we had all the under 15s that could play, it would just you know, it wouldn't be competitive. So we we have them playing up at Glory, but um the, the the standard is very good. Yeah, there's some players in there. Quality, quality players, and then senior football. Like it's the same, but you st- especially with the under twenties, you still want to try and push people onto the first team. But you know, it's results. You, you want to try and win as well, and it's more result driven too. So whereas this side, it's more development, You're trying to develop the players and and yeah, see where we can push them on. How do you go with dealing with the parents? Uh, I'm lucky. I, I've heard some horror stories, but I'm very lucky everywhere I've gone. So Bayswater. Wasn't an issue. Obviously, senior football, um, the club dealt with everything, and even at Glory, like the parents are brilliant. Yeah, they 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 help out where they can, and they don't they don't get involved. It's um they leave us to do the job, and and the kids come in. Yeah, the the parents are really good. Can't speak hardly enough of them. Because you do I've heard, yeah. I've heard some stories. Yeah, and not just in football. Yeah, yeah. Any any any. Uh, it's weird with junior sports. So we we'll play teams on the sideline. We played play one not long ago. I won't mention names, but we play, and you just hear some of the stuff the parents are saying. You just think, oh, just come on man like what are you doing mm. and some people I get it they want the best for their kid but sometimes it's just better to just sit and watch and our, our parents are, yeah they're very good I, I've I've just been lucky that I've not I've not had any bad ones yet and fingers crossed touch wood yeah it carries on do you still play? I do I'm I'm back playing the, this year I've I, I spent like five years not playing five, yeah, five six years stop playing to coach and now I'm playing for the mighty Quinani United now. Shout out to the boys. Yeah. Quinani United. Quinani United, yeah, up the boys, yeah. That's a drive. Uh, yeah, I used to live in Secret Harbour, so like, oh, okay. it's just, and the only reason there, one of, one of my best mates is the manager. Okay. Yeah, the, George, who's sponsoring me for this, yeah, he um he's the manager there. Have we even talked about your sport? We haven't oh, yeah, even talked about PCA. So yeah, yeah, so we, we've still got to talk about the fight, yeah. <laughs> But um, so yeah, he, he's roped me back into playing. I, I played like the last sort of eight games, wherever it was last year. For his team, and mm. then I wasn't going to play, and then he went there, and he was like, "Come on, come play." And I was like, "Yeah, go on then." And honestly, they're a great bunch of boys. Yeah, they're good. 
good quality. From what I've seen, people who play football, as in as in what we call soccer, they seem to travel more than most. Yeah. Whereas if you're playing AFL, if you've got to drive more than twenty minutes to get to your club, it's like nah, that's too hard. I'm playing for yeah, we, different we, clubs. Yeah, we don't really care. We're just I, I, even when I was younger, living here, I always played north of the river. So I played um, I played at Balcata when I was like under eighteen. Yeah, different clubs. I've always sort of travelled up never really been and even like the different academies always north of the river yeah I don't, I don't know why I don't know why yeah never really played for Rockingham or anything like that and how do you know Billy Quincroft is that through football yeah I played with him at Armdale yeah we played together it was only about half a season this was just before I stopped playing so I was at the tail end of it like I just wasn't really enjoying it and um, I, I yeah, shared a changing room for, for half a season what a guy <laughs> what a guy I love him honestly and then yeah, I, I play. I was I was playing somewhere else after that, and I was playing against him. I just remember him shouting. He went, "That's not fucking Kevin Castle." It's it. Look over, he's fucking still dust about in the middle of the midfield. It's like, "Fuck me, mate! Ain't you retired yet?" <laughs> nah, he's still going as well. I think he's playing for June Lup now. Yeah, he's still going. He, yeah, um, he just opened. I think they just opened the gym as well. Is he up? Oh, he's yeah, up in June Lup. Yeah, he was yeah, there last year. Yeah, yeah, he, um, yeah. He, great guy, great guy. Yeah, he came in here last year. Yeah, sat down for a chat. Yeah. That's I, right. I had to message him. I was like, "Mate, I'm taking the nickname." I was taking like, Bosch? Yeah, Bosch. Yeah, go. <laughs> Bosch. Yeah. I had to. And whoever the ring announcer is, has got to say it right and all. You can't just say Bosch. Oh, no. You've CJ got to, Rose. You've got to give it. You've got to Bosch. A proper, yeah. CJ Rose example. did do it. He did a good job. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He knows what's going on. Yeah, I got, got a bit of pressure, though. All those boys have won. Billy won. Steins, you won. Sammy Mitch John won. Smoke Bomb. Yeah, John yeah. John Stein. Yeah. So I was with him at Bayswater. And, and Sammy Mitch as well. Yeah, both those boys. Jeez, that's a while back. Yeah, so it's through, it's through Steinsy that I'm pretty much doing this, yeah. yeah. He was down at... Tra- oh, he was training with Billy. That's it. I was going to say, I saw him at training a while back. Yeah. But that was, must have been the last yeah. one. Yeah, he's through, a good man. Yeah, he's great. He's, it's through him. It, honestly, it was a off-the-cusp comment, walking to a, the training pitch. I was going over the 20s. He was with the first team. We were talking, talking about it. He was like, oh, would you ever do it? I was like, yeah, I'd do it. And then like two weeks later, he was like, no, you actually, would you actually do it? I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> and then it just went from there. And then, yeah. And then, because uh, I was going to do it, I think it was like middle of last year, whatever it went, when I couldn't, I was over in the UK. So I've ended up doing this one. But um, yeah, just an off the cuff comment and here we are. Yeah. It I'm happened so quick, doesn't it? Literally, yeah. I was like, okay, it got to Christmas and then I knew I, I knew I was doing it. So I was like, all right, okay. And then, yeah, training started and now we're like, what, four weeks away? Yeah. A lot of applicants. For, yeah, yeah. Crazy. It's, and honestly, anyone that can do it, do it. Yeah. I wouldn't, can't speak highly enough of it. Well, Glenn and, uh, Glenn and Nigel doing is really good. Mm. On the surface, it all looks like it runs so smooth. It does, yeah. I can't imagine the back stuff. But, uh, <laughs> well, if yeah. people get their logos in, it makes my life a hell there of a lot go, easier. Yeah. yeah. Drive yeah. me insane, those people. One more thing. This is, this is slip, slipping back before we get into your PCR. You're a WWE fan. I am, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I love it. Nowadays, or do you ever get in the old school WWE? Oh, yeah. The, there's the WWE. Yeah. Do, yeah, World Wrestling Federation. That, those were the days, weren't it? Yeah. That was... What a, when you look back now, some of the names, yeah, unreal. <laughs> Top stuff. Did you go to the one in Perth? I did, yeah. Elimination. It wasn't very good. Really? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It wasn't that great. It, it disappointed me a little bit. Where did you sit? Um, I was sort of... Uh, I was in one of the high seats, cheap yeah. seats, yeah. You can see it from Perth, though. It's good. Was all right. Yeah, it was decent. I was going to go, but I saw the the tickets. We were going to sit close, yeah. and they were about like twelve hundred dollars a ticket. Yeah. I was like, "You are delusional to nah, think I'm going to pay that." Crazy money. Yeah, I think mine was like hundred bucks, hundred twenty bucks, and that. My mate went. I'll drop him in it. His name's his name's Brad as well, and he was sending me photos as the day goes on. And I said, "What's the crowd like?" And he goes, "The crowd is exactly what you think the crowd." <laughs> is gonna be you, like. I know exactly. I can picture it in my head as well. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just. Guys, that looks like oh, look like imagine gamers. Yeah, maybe actually. don't do too much physical activity. And he reckons he'd never seen so many belts. Yeah, people had like the official belts. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, it is good time, but yeah, the card could have been. I think it was supposed to be a lot better, but I think a few few people got injured and some people didn't turn up. Not mentioning names to the rock bastard. But yeah, no, nah, it was. Uh, it I was, would have brought still, the house down. Yeah, it was still good, but yeah. <laughs> Could have could have been a lot better. To be honest, I don't I don't really watch that as much now. I watch the other the other company, AEW. I lost it like about 
probably 15, 20 years ago, and I just I can't get back into it. I can't understand what's happening. Watch that. Watch AW, and you will. It's A-W. like it's just like watching the old stuff, like blood, people going through table. Yeah, it's good. It's good, entertaining, really good. Uh, it's picking up a little bit in Perth here. You've got EPW. I think it's explosive professional wrestling. Yeah, so my sister did it. She she was a wrestler. Yeah, she did. Really? It. She, had a, she had a few matches. Yeah, where about? Um, uh, for Schwa, it was called Southern Hemisphere Wrestling Alliance. Okay, was yeah. that based in Perth? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I think they've just. I don't. I don't. Know I don't really. I don't follow it. But I think they just good support merged. there from the brother. Yeah, so <laughs> she don't do it anymore. That's okay. how she met her husband. Actually, that's. Uh, yeah, he was a wrestler too. He was tag team tag team champion. But um, but yeah, that's uh. Yeah, she did. She had a few matches. She did a bit of training, and she did it. Is it, how she actually? It's quite weird. Now she's got like my two nephews and married, and all from. She put a joke application in for me to go and do it, like this open day, and I was like, I'm not going. And then like, I think like even in the even in the comments, it was like, what do you want to achieve out of this? And she was like, be John Cena. <laughs> like it's just, yeah. it was like, a proper mock. And then she went, I was like, I'm not going. And then she was like, oh, maybe I'll just go. And, and that one, and now that one decision, she ended up resting. Now she's yeah, met her husband and. All that for yeah, crazy. It's it's hard on the body. It's like uh, honestly, anyone that says it's fake is a fucking idiot. It is on. I've, I've gotten and done it. The ring is so painful. Like when you bump your back on the ring, it's just wood. Like you don't you realize you don't realize underneath the ring is just plywood. Like, People think it's like a trampoline. No, nah, it's just honestly plywood and a thin bit of foam. Like it's yeah, it hurts. It's not nice. People Nothing don't. fake about it. Well, people get into it, like, and say, you know, wrestling's fake. This is none of this is real. How can you people yeah. like it? And then they go watch like Game of Thrones. Honestly, you go, that's not real. I had this argument with my mate. Tell I, him about I'll, I'll tell him honestly. He's, a, he's. I'll give it to him now. I'll tell him. Tell me about this donut. Yeah, an absolute idiot. He, he'll hate that as well. He's a. He's away. I'll drop a name. Yeah, that's it. He's away at work right now, so he would probably get. A bit, he'd get a bit angry. He's a weekend um, into his swing. Now nah, we were having this argument. And he was like, ah, oh, it's fake, it's rubbish. And I said to him, I went, do you go to the movies? You go to the cinema? He was like, yeah, I'll go watch a movie. I said, it's the same thing. He was like, because exactly. he was giving it the like, oh, you know the ending. I was like, do you not know the ending of a movie? Or it's like predetermined? I was like, it's the exact same thing, but except this is like live hmm. in the ring. It's yeah. Way better. Yeah. yeah, it's more athletic. Yeah, uh, people don't get it. It's, it's like you know, watching a World War Two movie. Literally. We know how that thing ends. Yeah. That's it. The English win like we always do. <laughs> Come on, England. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, it's a, it's it's a tough sport. Yeah, it's honestly, I, I'd Imagine. say probably the toughest sport there is. I reckon must be hard on the back, just because how often they do it. They do it like four or five nights a week. That's it. Is we see it and and like we we think oh they only wrestle like six times a year with SummerSlam, yeah, WrestleMania, nah. and Royal Rumble. They go out four or five nights a week. Like it's crazy. Imagine. Imagine what that's got to do to your body. Yeah, yeah we well, see it now. Like it's, some people just mangled, didn't they? They fucked up. Like Hulk Hogan can barely walk. Uh, he's he's a bell isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't stand that guy. Yeah. He was massive in the he day. He wasn't he? Yeah, back in the day. It's funny though because you watch old clips of it now and you're like, that was terrible. <laughs> you're like that is so bad. And compared to like now, but because but, every fight now in the WWE is an exciting fight. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Well, back Big then about, yeah. it used to be some just like, a leg drop. Yeah, and it, and it used to, and the fights used to be some um, like well-known person against some hack that has one fight, and yeah. it just gets pummeled for yeah. like ten minutes, and then it's over. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, it's um, every fight's exciting. Yeah, and they've got it better now. You, you used to be able to sort of predict it completely. Now it's there's a few surprises in there. And you're like, oh, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I think it's WrestleMania scene as well. I haven't watched it for a little bit, but. Was WrestleMania on last weekend? Wasn't no, I it? think it's this weekend. I want to say this. Yeah, maybe or next weekend. Maybe yeah, it's very soon. Yeah, definitely we'll watch it. I, mean, that's, I have to go one day. That's a that's a bucket list. And the company that owns the UFC just bought WWE. That's right, yeah, TKO Group. So you're going to see, <clears> we've already seen it. Chandler did a promo, didn't he? Called out McGregor a couple weeks ago on Raw. So you can reckon, see. Yeah, it's going to happen. Rousey went across. Yeah, she hates it now. She speaks so badly of it. I she still th- wrestles, but not, not WWE. Yeah, she hates company. I thought... With you know how they were just teasing with the main event for UFC 300. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Rousey. I thought Rousey was coming back to yeah, fight okay. Pennington. It's not. It's no, not no, that. no. But I thought that's what. Oh, I was going to say it's juice because she could beat Pennington. I'm confident yeah. she could beat Pennington. She, yeah, she, yeah, she, she was sort of the the first one, wasn't she, for the women? She uh, dominated. Yeah, yeah, big time. And then got beaten twice and said, "No, nah, that's yeah, enough." That's it. See you later. You can't blame her. You made her money and then made her money and dipped. Yeah, but she. I think about what money she could make now. Oh, she would have hung around. She um, 
she'd be making serious money now wrestling. Mm. She came. That was about 2013. They came in, I think. No, I think it was later. It must have been. She got knocked out in 2015. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you by could be. Uh, Holly Holm. Fuck, it feels like. Feels like it was just yesterday. <laughs> it's like the same we're talking about McGregor Al- Alvarez before. It's like feels like it was just the other week, and it's like been six years ago. You're like, what? The women's MMA and UFC is in trouble. You reckon? Yeah, okay. I think. Well, I just know on there. No, I reckon Tatiana Suarez could come up and take mm-hmm. a belt and get it back, get it interesting again. But when you've got um, Grasso as the pound for pound champ, you got Whaley Zhang. I know she got China mm-hmm. behind her. And you got Pennington and the bantamweight champ. That's the thing, isn't it? You need a uh, you need a wrestling persona. That's what you need. You need Kayla a, you Harrison. Need a, yeah, you need someone who uh, you need someone who's going to come in and talk some shit and roll people up and get some eyeballs. Well, Kayla Harrison's coming in. She's making her debut against Holly Holm, mm. and if she gets that win, yeah. I reckon she'll fight for the belt. I reckon she'll beat Pennington. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's, that. Tatiana that's a three hundred, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Maybe get Tatiana Suarez down at strawweight, and yeah. then um, bantamweight get Kayla Harrison. That'd be all right. That's what they need. Yeah, you, yeah, you'll have something. Something. Anyway, we can talk about USA. How do we get back onto this? <laughs> WWE. PCR's coming up about, oh, how many days? 29 days. You're under 30. That's it, yeah. You are more than halfway through. Yeah. That is scary. No. No? no you no. ready? Not phase one, bro. Oh, yeah. Not Jeez, here not, we go. not phase in the slightest, <laughs> yeah. Someone we should mention, because I've got behind you. You've got two sponsors, and you've submitted your logo. Thank you for that, everyone that hasn't. Hurry the hell up. Uh, your sponsors are GEM Resourcing. Mr. George Mann, got yes, behind you there. that's it, yeah. The, Tell uh, me about GEM Resourcing. Is it GEM or GEM? GEM, yeah. GEM. Yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, they um, – obviously, thank you for them guys for, for sponsoring and George. But, um, yeah, so they basically help help uh, companies find, find workers, basically. That's uh, that's pretty much what he does. Yeah, he um, and he's really, really bloody good at it. Like an employment, yeah, yeah, provider. Like, yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. Do a lot of FIFO work and so, uh, FIFO workers. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. So he was working with someone else, and now this is there. Yeah, it's his own thing now. But um, and he does stuff out in Melbourne as well, and yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's also the WBC Muay Thai world champion. Okay, so if I see him, I won't talk yeah, trash to him. No, it's funny as well. You look at him, you think you beat him up. Big lanky bastard, he, uh, and then and then you find out he's the best Muay Thai fighter on the planet. You go Muay Thai it, yeah. is different, yeah, different gravy. Yeah, been, has the shins on him. Oh, oh my absolute god, absolute shin diesel, fucking yeah, horrible. <laughs> yeah, nah, not for me that. I no watched pain. it, but yeah, watched him fight a few times, but not for me. Don't do it for me, Muay Thai. All the dancing about in the ring at the start, come off it. You'll be dancing around the ring April twentieth. Imagine get the yeah. crowd going. Muay Thai, it's. Their legs have they got any feeling in their legs? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's it's different gravy in it. It's, yeah, painful. You are watching, you're just like, oh, that's they, hurt. they're getting ripped to the quad, and they just don't even yeah. flinch. Don't don't budge at all. I always laugh when you see the videos of like fans get asked to get leg kicked or something, and you just see them Go buckle, down. and it's just like, why are you even asking <clears> for that? Like, I'd rather, I think I'd rather get hit in the face than the leg. Then, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I walked past a table and got a Charlie horse in the quad and I had to lay down. And that was just off a table, not yeah. even at speed. That's horrible. Yeah, no, I don't, don't want to be getting no leg kicks. No, <sighs> not for me. It's like a, like, never run behind a car and gone a bit close and copped a toe ball in the shin? No. That's, a, that's what it's Muay like the scoot, is. It's like the scooter, in it? When you're younger, yeah, scoot <laughs> to the shin. <laughs> the oh, razor that's scooter. Horrible, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is George going to be there at the night? He will be, yeah. He'll, He'll be, be there. He'd better stay away from the commentary table. Yeah. If he comes over there and starts talking trash, I might have to. That's it. Yeah, he'll get stuck in. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's got a fight coming up soon as well. I won't be yeah. doing that, George. I'll be showing <laughs> you respect. And you got a second sponsor? Yes, Rapidware. Um, Rapidware. Yes, they've also got a uh, new launch coming out in April. Uh, big up that end of April. So let's have a look at Rapidware on Instagram. We'll go Instagram. It's always going to be. Looking a bit better. What are we looking at? Oh, we're looking at Hogwarts on Instagram. Hogwarts, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Rapid where? Where are these guys based? In Perth. No, no, in Perth. Yeah. Oh, so they are gym clothing, are they? Yeah, unreal. They're all right. Jeez, must be a tough job taking these photos on their Instagram. Jesus. So, how long have these guys been around? 
Um, quite a while, yeah. So M, who runs it, uh, she uh, shout out to her. She's one of my, my best mates' partner. Um, she in any of these photos? Uh, right, yeah. yeah, she is. Uh, where is she? There. There. No, uh, no. Go to the there? right. Yeah. There she is. I'm going to put this photo up for you. So, what was her name? Uh, M Emily. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's some nice work there, Emily. Oh. Do they do guy stuff as Sorry, well? Sorry, Emma, not Emily. Emma. Emma. Sorry, yeah. Sorry Emma. Uh, do they do guy stuff as well? Um, I don't know, actually. I'm not 100% sure on that. I could be wearing some firm-fitting yeah, yeah, clothing in done. the gym. Get it in, yeah. Just hold exactly. everything in a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys sponsor you as well. How'd this come about? Just Honestly, just um, I was out for coffee with my mate Bill, and then just, just from a passing comment, and then uh, she messaged me and was like, yeah, we'll sponsor you. And then that was it. It's amazing how many people just come on board so quickly. Yeah. It it was honestly as easy as that. And same with George as well. He was asked once he for it. Done. Yeah. Do they know where the money goes? Yeah. 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 So, so what, George, yeah, he was like, yeah, whatever, here you go. Done. Sorted. And then, um, yeah, I sent him uh, everything through to her, but. I think it's when you look at the Sub Rose Button Foundation and you see what it does. Yeah. That is the main reason I do this. Phenomenal, yeah. It's because, and the money goes, This is, I know I harp on this, only because I got burnt by a charity once before. <laughs> I won't mention them, but they know who they are. Yeah. Is all the money goes where it should go. You know how sometimes you get charities. You out in it. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah, oh, there's yeah. some admin costs. Oh, yeah. yeah. But no, yeah. no, all the money goes to the right places. Yeah. That's why I like them. Unbelievable, yeah. Good on them. Yeah, so good. Good on them. Oh, I'm glad these guys got on board. They got some good stuff. Unreal, yeah. Get around it. If you haven't got any <coughs> any gym gear, girls, go and get some. And Emma, if you want to send me in, I'll wear one of your shirts in here. Can you imagine me in that? Jeez, no one needs to see that. No, actually, actually scrap <laughs> maybe that, not, Emma. Yeah, maybe not. I look terrible in any of that kind of stuff. All right. Let's get back on this PCR. Tell me why you applied. Uh, honestly, it was just through Steinsy making a comment. Steinsy, the yeah. smoke bomb. The smoke bomb, you yeah. You can't literally, listen to the smoke bomb. Literally went, would you do it? And I said, yeah, as a joke. And then here we are, four weeks out, yeah. But I've always wanted to do it, like some form of, like boxing or something. So I've always watched it, but with football, I've just not been able to. And now it's just sort of lined up that I can. It'll give you that that focus and... Um, Obviously, with your work, you've got the opportunity to experience those mm. highs of highs and lows of lows. Yeah. So, you'll be conditioned to it. You'll yeah. be able to handle this kind of pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Not There's no such thing as pressure. It's fake. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, honestly do not believe in it. It's not a thing. Pressure is only felt by those that fail. Well, I'm suffering yeah. from something on the night. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Have you been to an event before? No, I haven't. I've only, only seen, um, obviously, like the videos and that on YouTube and I've been told it's unbelievable the production of it looks mad yeah. it can be intimidating no i must admit no not for me okay no. we'll see no oh. how many people depends i think it's about between 12 and 15 i think it's just a lot of people all coming to support me yeah which is hard being that popular isn't it's, it uh, yeah fair play to them i heard they're opening up the next ballroom just uh, for the overflow just of for fans. the overflow yeah that's it so i'll do a little autograph sign from afterwards <laughs> See you at a table, five dollars <laughs> for a signature. That's it. It it is. I, I I still find it not intimidating, but it it can be o- a little bit overwhelming. I still find it. I've yeah. I've seen like ten not ten of them, but I've seen like six of them. And still, when you walk in that ballroom yeah. at about midday and no one's there, you go, Jesus, this thing is on. I could see why people would would bottle it. I, I could I could see why people would lose a fight because of it as well. I could see it, but yeah. it, it's rare. It does. It does happen, and I'm not judging those people because yeah. I've never it's, fought, yeah. and I could do exactly the same thing. Yeah, but it is a lot, like a walk, like having a walk on, everyone watching. Yeah, a lot of eyeballs. <laughs> I can see why it's all recorded. Can't hide away. It's going to be there. If you get, if you get beat, it's in the group chat forever. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, pu- I'll put the video up as well. That's it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, no, nah, not uh, not phased one bit, and that side of things. Okay. Yeah. I think why it works so well, this event, is because you combined uh, combat sport like boxing with a black tie event. Yeah, it's the yeah. two yeah, no, yeah. opposites that just gel together yeah. somehow. It's beautiful, yeah. 
strange. Getting dressed up and going to watch a few people throw hands. Is what you <clears> want? I remember when Glenn told me about it. I was like, "You're you're crazy." Now I'm I'm so glad that it succeeded because he and originally it was Renee and now it's Nigel. They've just put their heart and soul yeah, into this. Yeah. yeah, fair play. It's it's good. You can see when you're doing the training as well. Like a lot goes into it, and it's getting better. Like it's it's just every year it steps up the quality after after about PCR seven the quality throughout the whole yeah. car just went through the roof, mm. and everyone wants to win now. People used to want to compete. No, now I'm, I'm coming in to win. I, I'm not asked about. I'm not asked about no second place. Just the first loser, ain't you? I'm not, I'm not asked about that. I'm not. Not coming in here to lose weight or set a challenge. Coming in here to win. That's it. Take on the belt. Coming home, taking a belt. Seen the belt? I have, yeah. They're yeah. on this one's on the side of the ring, um, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they may just give it me now. Well, they give you a fresh one. Yeah, I have you. It'll have like the whoever the fight sponsor, sponsor is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine that. They should, they should just wrap it around my waist now. And you're going to wear it, it all the time. Absolutely, it's coming out everywhere with me. Yeah. I'll tell you what would be good is <clears throat> if you could get the sides of the belt. This is my tip, and they said no. And instead of it being real thick around the side, make it like a normal belt so you could thread it through your pants and wear it all. <laughs> you know, like, you know the old country yeah, and western, yeah, the big belt? It, yeah, the you big got buckle. A, yeah. you, got a, you got a PCR belt. Big buckle. That'd yeah. be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you get on through customs. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, silly one, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be good. It'll be a good fight as well, I think. Mm. Yeah. So we're into week five now. Yeah. If you run run me through this first five weeks, well, obviously you had you knew what to expect a little bit from the smoke bomb, yeah. and from Billy Quincroft, yeah. Bosch, uh, Bosch has it Bosch has it been what you've expected these first five weeks? Yeah, yeah, and more. It's it's been tough. It's been hard. Like it's um, quite luckily fitness wise was all right anyway. So it went too. It's still a little bit different because it's obviously boxing fitness, but. But it's more the mental side of things, like and how quickly you sort of come on. So they tell you, they tell you, and they're like, "You're going to come on real quick. You're going to get used to this. You're going to do that." And then you sort of, you obviously just brush it off. You're like, yeah, okay. And then you get to like now week five, you're like, "Oh shit!" Where I was five weeks ago to now, it's a big difference. Yeah. The the, the first thing is just like getting used to just having a punch being thrown at your face. Mm, That's the first thing. Hit. Yeah, yeah. Getting used to and being comfortable and not because your first reaction is just to get away. And then, mm. Yeah. That's why I take so many videos. I know I look a bit strange walking around with a with a, um, a phone camera down there because I'm not 18. But I do it so I can show you the yeah. videos of week one. And I, you go back and you have you ever watch those videos in week one and you go, Jesus, look like a bunch of Muppets. Yeah. And you have a look at how good you guys are now. It's it's just two totally different people. Yeah, I had two videos sparring Mongi the first week. I think it was like my second day I went and inspired with him. Yeah. And then from last week and yeah, huge difference. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. And when you split off in the teams, it's a lot more one on one. Yeah, yeah. I got and told it ramps right up when you split off, so I'm looking forward to that. From what I hear, the second half is a lot more enjoyable than the first half. Oh really? Yeah, okay. so if you've yeah. enjoyed this first half, yeah, you're I've in for a it, treat. Yeah. yeah, buzzing. And you the, when the teams get together, that's sort of when the, the motive when you motivate each other yeah, yeah. and the training start getting a bit loose yeah and and you really get behind everyone yeah yeah it'll be interesting what team on it will yeah, be i think i know but obviously maybe not like i said i don't know yeah. i stay out of any of this stuff you find out this weekend anyway yeah, yeah, so i think you yeah. get you get stickers as well so oh yeah Oh, that's a blue one there. there you, go. you got these back of the car, so you know, so you'll be forever a blue or forever a blue or red. Or yeah. a red. But yeah, it's 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 funny because you watch people come in from the start and like obviously you get to know everyone. But from the, even the first day, you just seen everyone eyeballing each other. That's <laughs> so all they do is like, who's my height? Who's my weight? You know, okay, him, him, or him. Uh, yeah, and that's all anyone does. Everyone's it's, nervous. Yeah, it's it's funny. I eyeball you guys when I come in. And I go, well, which one of these clowns is going to come in for an interview and I'm going to just going to be pulling teeth all day? Yeah. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. good that comes in here. That's it. I don't think I've had a bad one. I don't think Surely. I've had like a real... No. No. No, really. They go a long time. Yeah, you don't realise. You're like, what are we going to talk about? And then in two hours we've gone by. Like, well, it's two hours 40 now. Yeah. Jesus. I know. Well, it just keeps going. I know. Yeah. I know. Jesus, oh, look at the time. Better keep going this... 
once you go into the teams, yeah. it, it is. I think it gets more enjoyable because you've not only got the date, but you've got your opponent, and you sort of get a bit of a taste of. Well, you you've sparred your opponent. Yeah. Or more than likely, you've sparred your opponent. Yeah, yeah. So you know what you're in for. Yeah. And then you get conditioned to to fight that person. Yeah. So yeah, I know. Yeah, like I said, I'm confident. I know who it is, and we've sparred a couple of times. So. Okay, I don't want to know. Yeah, leave no, the leave it, yeah. the surprise for me that's for this it. weekend. Is, uh, do we f- is the fight announced this weekend as well? I don't know. No, I'm not sure. Just the teams. So yeah. I did ask. I admit, I did ask, and then I wasn't paying attention with the answer because I was too busy worrying about those logos that haven't been submitted. I, th- I think you know. I think they might tell you. Yeah. Okay. They might still be working it out as well. Yeah, I'd say that there's. Yeah, there was a few people still sat up sparring. I think just to f- feel out on the other night. So I think they may let the girls know yeah. because. I don't it's know. It's probably easier, isn't it? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah I still, think they probably know anyway. Yeah, there's still a few around the same way. Any anything could happen. I don't know. That's why I stay out of it. So all I know is it's going to be a close. It's uh, they're close, mm. always close. You go through up. You go through all the old fights. Yeah, there's no real one sided beatings. You know, yeah, it will so. be April twentieth. <laughs> oh, if you get done, if you get stopped in the first round, not, you will not, never hear. I'm going to join that chat group just to get not, in here. Uh, not an option. It doesn't happen. <laughs> no. no. Done, and, in, done in one. And you're not staying at the crown? No. Nah, said. No, nah, I'm not. Nah. What do you got planned for the Sunday? So uh, I'm a uh, football. So I wake up, drive straight down to Bunbury for uh, the under-15s glory. Yeah, we've got a game at 11. So To uh, Bunbury? Yeah, to Bunbury, yeah. You've been there the before, fix- obviously? Yeah, the fixturing couldn't have been more... That's brutal. More horrible for me, yeah. Yeah, so... But it's all part of the job, isn't it? It is what yeah. it is. You're going to have a few drinks on the night after? I will have a few. A couple. but uh, To nurse the broken heart after no, the loss? No, absolutely not. Yeah, <laughs> Just a little celebratory, but not too much. Not too much. Yeah. I'll have a couple and then be be fresh for football. But my my trouble is, once I have a couple, I can't stop. No. So it could go, yeah. It could go Pete Tong. Like could you're be punting. Yeah, li- yeah, literally. It could, could be hanging, but... Uh, yeah, there'll be a few whiskeys, a few celebratory ones, definitely. Do you have to drive down to Bunbury or have yeah, you got a chauffeur? No, we'll be driving, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, and the kids are 15. It's not That's like you can get yeah. one of the players to drive you uh, down there. Nah, yeah. Nah, I'll be driving down myself, but... That's it. Win a fight on the night and then go win a football game the next day. that would be a good weekend. So much confidence around this room tonight. Nah, I love it. It's, yeah, it's no... Not a doubt in my mind, yeah. Did you... Any experience prior to coming in here? Nah, nah. Never come it's fresh. Are you naturally an athlete? You must be. Uh, but, like, uh, naturally. Yeah, na- naturally, like quite fit, and obviously just through football and running and that sort of thing. So I wasn't too bothered about that. I thought I'd probably take to it quite quickly, which I think I have. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not. Yeah, not a, not shredded down in my mind. How far? When you've seen how far you've come in the first half, how do you reckon the second half is going to be for oh, you? It's going to be scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's be scary. The end product. We like an animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you going to weigh in to like, you know, just find in case Canelo's um, opponent gets injured, you can jump in I there. I said jump in, yeah, get straight in there. Nah, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a good fight. Not going to be a not not going to go the whole way. Not going to be a long fight, but it'll be a good fight. It amazes me what happens at these events. Mm. Like, there's always something that really surprises me. Whether it's the performance. There's a there was a the female named Phoebe Lang. Still remember this girl. I just I was hoping for the best, and yeah. she's come in and just I don't even know where it came from. Just put on an incredible, incredible performance, and I do just see things at each event that I just didn't expect. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, it's, and it can go the other way as yeah. well. Yeah, it's it's any I guess in the night you could be ill, you could be just. Just not your timings off. Anything can happen on the night. It's a, just get hit that one hit. It's a, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it'll be interesting with all the fights to see how many people like once once it starts and the bell goes. Who's like sort of stick to the training? Oh Rather no, that goes just, out the yeah, door. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, you get here and then it's just fucking start throwing bombs. Haymakers coming in. Yeah, there was one guy. I'm not going to name him, but he didn't stick to the game plan in his fight. And I saw the coach. I'm not going to say what coach it was, but it wasn't Glenn. <laughs> losing his mind because yeah. the game plan went just out gone. the door and yeah. was like, I'm going to throw everything I have in this first round. Yeah, you can't do that. No. It, it it didn't, and, and unfortunately, it uh, didn't work well for him. So, anyway, 
mentally, you sound you sound strong mentally. Mm. I got to say, yeah, and you'd have to be. Um, have you noticed any changes with? I was going to say confidence or focus mm. that uh, since you've been training. Any changes there? Are you become more confident? Just more confident, yeah. If that's possible, yeah. I'm just even even before turning up day one, yeah, I knew. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's gonna go gonna go one way, one way only. Yeah, I do like the confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very very confident person. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh gonna be gonna be a long night for the man. Yeah, he's uh gonna get beat around a ring, and it's gonna be beautiful, beautiful violence. <sighs> I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Oh, whoever you fight, I'm not saying you're going to win. Not saying you're going to lose. But just they're not going to match you up with someone that you can easily win. No, no, no. But it's uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Throw me, throw me in there with any of them. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's going to be a good night. How would you go fighting Glenn or Nige? You reckon? Ah, it's a bit of a different story. Oh, that is, yeah, isn't it? It's a bit of a different story. But how, uh, yeah. How can Glenn? I don't know if I'm going to put this in because it's not complimentary. How can Glenn move around at about two kilometres an hour everywhere he walks around, get in that ring, and you can't hit him? Yeah. I saw him sparring with uh, Hudson last night. Yeah. And I was like, he's so quick. It's, yeah, he's... Um, Drives me insane. Yeah. He's he's a good bloke, isn't he? he, he see, even just in, like, the combination of the pads and that, he's like, bang, 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 you know, yeah. And he's Nige. Just got it, you can see it, yeah. I, I've not seen Nige yet. I've not seen him. Jesus. Nigel is quite top heavy. Yeah, and Nigel can move. Nigel can move like someone half his size. Both of them can. Both can of move, them can yeah. fight. And yeah, Chris man. and Craig, very different styles of boxing, but both those guys can hold their own. That's how we should end the night. If it's a tr- if it's a draw, Glenn vs Nigel. Imagine that. That's Unlike the, the ultimate decider. fighter. Yeah, that's it. yeah, the decider at the end. It's fifteen fights. Yeah, we had sixteen. Them two can go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, double could, points for the team that wins. Could yeah, you yeah. imagine if that's how it finished? Uh, if it's a draw, yeah, that's. A, I think that's what's got to be in it. If it's a draw at the end of the night, that's Glenn and Nigel the got to go there. in. Yeah, three rounder. Oh, no, make it a twelve rounder. Twelve rounder, let's do it. Yeah, oh, uh, those get them in there. Twelve you? rounder, bang, let's go. <laughs> sold. Just sold all your tickets. <laughs> that would be something. Those two will never fight. I don't know. Maybe uh, Kiari and uh, uh, Craig. Yeah. Nah, no. they're never going to fight. No. no, none of that. Any injuries? No, none. Nothing? None. No one's been able to hit you yet. No, that's, that's, that's it. It's the difference, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Too elusive. Nah, I feel good. Feel fresh. Feel, hands uh, are good? Hands are fine, yeah. Yeah. You're at just, some say, hitting your prime in uh, in sporting. Like, people normally peak around about their late mm. 20s, don't they? You still, your body bounces back well. Yeah. So everything is really working in your favour, isn't it? Yeah. It's um, eating the right stuff, taking the right stuff. Yeah. Feel yeah. good. Did you get injured much playing football? Uh, not uh, not regularly. I had a couple of like injuries. One 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 was a uh, torn um, hammy, like really bad in a last preseason game for Inglewood. This was years ago, and that um, sort of messed me up for a little bit because I didn't recover it properly. Yeah. But it was just as I was about to stop playing anyway. So let me guess, you came back a bit early. Well, nah. So I, I not naming names. So I blamed the coach. So it was on a Thursday, and I you felt what? I blamed the coach. It okay. was a Thursday, and I was feeling it, and I was like, I don't think I can play. And he was like, just start and see how you go. And being a muscle injury, even the physio was like, you probably shouldn't be playing. And in my head, I was like, as soon as I turn in sprint, this is going to ping. And it was literally about ten minutes into the game, ball went over me, turned to sprint, and shot. It was honestly like a rubber band, just ping. It was horrible. Yeah. Jesus, yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't happy. Yeah, how do they fix that? Oh, I, I honestly, I didn't do anything. Like, because I, I was, I just went traveling middle of the year instead, so I just didn't play. And I just let it recover on its own. Yeah, I didn't do any proper rehab for it. They don't have to do surgery or anything. It, nah, nah, it weren't, it weren't that bad. It, it wasn't like it was close. Like it, it tore really bad. Yeah, mm. it was really bad to, but um, I just left it. Yeah, and then feels okay. Yeah. Right now, feels right now. Yeah, it's fine. Tight. Uh yeah, but I don't stretch. I'm terrible for that. I need to get better at that. That's uh, I can't. Stretching's can't overrated. Oh, I hate it. It's so boring, isn't it? Like, imagine if you could take a tablet to loosen all oh, your muscles. It'd be beautiful, but That'd I feel I, so yeah, good. I feel fine though. But I don't, I don't don't feel tight or anything. But not stiff. You don't look stiff. Nah, you know, some people yeah, are just stiff. Nah, nah, loose, ready to go. Feel feel good, confident, ready. Too fast, too strong. It's gonna be good. 
If you get flatlined in the first, you will never, never hear the uh, end of it. Just it goes, I'll just it? repeat this. That's no. fine. Do it. Whack it on. But, uh, no. Nah. Obviously, the friends and the suspect chat groups are all 100% behind you here, especially with Johnny Smoke Bomb Steins. Going to just drop that name as many times as mm. I can in this interview. I think that's about six. <clears throat> What do your family think about you boxing? Because it's very different to yeah, football. Yeah, dad's well up for it. He's, oh, uh, he can't dad. Wait. Yeah, the, the, is dad in Perth? Yeah, yeah, he's there. Yeah, okay. mum, dad are both here. Yeah, he works away, so he's coming back for the fight. Um, he wants to be in the corner. He's like, get me in the corner. I was like, if I could, I would get him in there. But uh, spoken to big, Glenn and Nigel about that. I've not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring him up. Get Big Pete in there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the big man. He uh, he loves it. Mum, mum, not happy about it. She wasn't gonna come. But she is, she is coming now. But yeah, she's not. Uh, I don't think she's too excited for it. But uh, and then my sisters are just yeah, they're ready. Yeah. They're fine. Yeah, they're, his sister yeah. did wrestling. That's got to be more yeah. dangerous. Than well, this. I, don't, I don't think she's coming. I don't think she's come to the event because uh, she's got the kids and all that. So my my little sister who I live with, she's coming. Yeah, okay, she'll be there. But uh, yeah, maybe I do see why parents are concerned about it. But you're so protected. Mm. Like it, it, it'd be more dangerous. I think I said this the other day. It'd be more dangerous playing a, a an AFL game yeah, or a rugby yeah. game. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's um, Cause someone's yeah, watching you. Yeah, you got the refs looking yeah, after you. Coaches yeah. looking after you. You know what you're doing. You got headgear. You've been you training got, for ten weeks. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. Got mouth guard. Yeah. Gobsmacked. Sports mouth guards. Yeah, major sponsor. Naming rights sponsor. Yeah, the best. Um, yeah. No, I, I don't think it's just mums in it. She was just a bit like, oh, no. But now my dad's like. I was trying to coach and he's like oh, you should do this work off the job do that he, he he fought before when he was younger he's had he had a couple of amateur fights so he, uh, yeah he's uh, the big man's buzzing for it yeah. Big P Big P yeah that's it Big P well Big P is in the corner Just well he, he might be the assistant coach for the if I can do it I will I'll get him in there yeah, yeah. speak to Glenn and I I've yeah. made things happen before yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure we can get something going yeah get him in there Big P. Oh, the bucket. Yeah. Is he Big P going to come in and like the Hawaiian shirt, like back in the days of the old darts? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, Wayne Mardle, yeah. Hawaii 5 0. Nah, we. Um, Big P's got a pint, just yelling out his eyes and a it, dart yeah, in his hand. That's it. That's the, that's the old Big P, yeah. Back in the day, it would have been, <laughs> definitely, yeah. Nah, he'll be, he'll be loving it. He, he'll be lapping up. Yeah, he's looking forward to it. The dads seem to be so keen, it's the mums that are concerned. Yeah, I've not really told him much. He keep, Every time he comes back from us, he's like, oh, you're not telling me about the box. I'm like, no, no, just wait, wait till the night. Just, just keep, keep a surprise keep for a surprise, everyone. Yeah, yeah, leave it to the night. Got any special moves or anything that you got, you got planned? Loads. Right. Yeah. Well, tell me afterwards, not on camera. No, no, no. no. Also, not just for you, but for other fighters, I come in and talk to you probably about, I don't know, usually about two, three days out. Mm. Just if you've got anything special planned or you've got a uh, a secret move, a finishing move, maybe not a leg drop, but if you've got yeah. something, just let me know so I can cover it whilst commentating and I will not tell your opponent what it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I won't. By then I'll know I'm going to win as well. I would have chose, I would have chose my method. <laughs> yeah. you, do, you do. I won't say a word. Yeah. There's yeah. been some people supporting injuries, and I haven't. I haven't said uh, a word to anyone. Anyway. No. I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to let it go for a round yet. I'm not decided. <sighs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll decided. see. Yeah. Oh, could be different in there, mate. Could be different. Could eat a bad prawn the day before. Uh, don't eat prawns. It's all right. <laughs> Any so zero concerns about the event? No, nah, none. Not at all. Look just want to fight nice just, and early. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Ideally, just get on the biz. But it is what it is. Wherever I am, it's. Uh, It'll be the main event anyway. Doesn't matter where I am on the card. Yeah. They will, Glenn and I will accommodate for as much as possible. Yeah. But if, obviously, if everyone goes, I want to fight first, oh, then yeah, they can't I'd, do it. I don't mind it. Wherever it is, it is. But yeah, yeah. it's more uh, more just to yeah, get on the beers with the boys afterwards. Yeah. That's what I'm looking forward to most, I think. There's a few. <laughs> I wonder who the main event will be. I, I would say, got to be Barry. Barry and uh, Torres, sure. Do they, they were fight three last time, and yeah. that. But it's such an exciting fight. They're all exciting. I think. But you want to yeah, get. I, I, I think because I, I don't think Barry's had any other fights since, has he? So I think that no. I'll go. That might go against him. But I, I thought he won the first fight. I thought he won it. It was close. Yeah, I, I, it got him. I had, did a little bit of work with him a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he's good. I like Barry. I think if you are sitting. Sorry, no. I'm just checking the camera up here. No, that's I all. Just the belt. Oh yeah, it's inflatable. <laughs> it used to be WWE belt. Yeah. Yeah, it's our tipping competition. Beautiful. Oh, I'm losing badly. Um, oh, now I lost my train of thought. It's so distracting. Barry. 
main event with Barry. Um, Oh, if you are watching it, I know when you said that you watched it back and you think mm. Barry got the win. What I don't think people realise is that when you're there and you watch it, it is depending on where you're sitting, the fight can look so different. different. Yeah, yeah. I've had, I've had. There's been fights that I've thought have been the biggest robbery of all time, and and I've just said I cannot believe that went that way. And then I watched it back on the video, and I was like, "Oh no, that that's fair." Mm. Yeah, and no, I think from what I saw that fight, yeah, I thought I, I gave Barry the first round, I gave um, Alex the Alex second, second, and I gave Barry the third. Yeah. Two and three, I had the same as you. One was close, but yeah, I think it was, very, it was all close. Yeah, I thought I thought the second, I thought he figured Barry out a little bit, yeah. and then the third, I think mean, Barry came out, and then I think he figured him out a bit. Yeah, I thought I thought Barry won it handy, but. His ability to take a punch was impressive. Yeah, yeah, he's, he, it was a good Alex. fight. It's yeah, gonna be a very both good fight. of them, both of them, and yeah. But do you start? Do you do that fight early and get the crowd get it going? Going, because yeah. yeah, the last fight is going to be long in it. That last fight, it's uh, it's yeah, a long way for both of uh, them to, for white from to one, white one to last. Yeah, it's a long. That's a long day. Yeah, it was. I think it was uh, Maddie Revere got the win, and then it was uh, Danielle De Valera's. And then it was Alex. So it went one, two, and three for the blue. Mm. And then blue got their – like blue were just unstoppable. Yeah. And that's it. It's not just your fight. How you go will influence how your team goes. Mm. And you like once you start getting a couple of wins under your belt, your team lifts. Confident, yeah, yeah. I think it's very important. That's why the girls, there's a, there's a huge responsibility for the female fighters. Yeah. Because they set the tone for the day. Yeah. And, well, there's going to be three very close uh, female fights. Yeah, all those, all those, yeah, the girls' fights, all of them are going to be... Can't you know, pick them. Be, uh, nah, I think, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Liv and Adi, that's going to be, um, that's going to be a good fight. I think with theirs, it's going to be the mental game more than mm. anything. Whoever turns up... On the night, yeah. Imagine walking out first, red team walk out first. Imagine being on the red team and fight one. And you're you first man there. coming out, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Pressure, red. if yeah. you feel it, yeah. It's uh, if, you if you feel it, <laughs> if it bothers you. Oh, oh the confidence. It's great. Love it. You don't know what team you're going to be on. You think it's going to be blue? I think, yeah, but I mean... Well, with that level of confidence, some would say arrogance. You are suited to Glenn Austin, I'm going <laughs> to say. <laughs> Uh, your opponent, if you had to have a guess. Zach. Zach. Yeah. I don't know his last name. I still can't pronounce his last name. Yeah. I'm sorry about that if it is. You reckon it is Zach? I think it is, yeah. It's a few of you at the same weight, though. Yeah. Could be, I don't know, Cato. Is he about your weight? No, nah, I think he's heavier. Heavier? He's a bit heavier, yeah. He's stocky. He's quite stocky, surprisingly. Quite st- like When you look at his um, height, yeah, he's quite stocky. Maybe if Alec gets injured, you might have to step in and face Big Barry. That's it. The Prince. Me and Buzz, yeah. Yeah. Barry will have to get it. Nah, that that would, uh, yeah, that's it, yeah. Nah, I like Barry. He's a good man, isn't he? Yeah, I like him. Keep trying to get him in here. He got it, yeah, he'd be right. Yeah, he does want to come in. Fine. Thanks, Barry. I'm on Team Alex now. Yeah. Nah, it's, um, yeah, nah, from the first day I sort of thought, yeah, I think it would be him. You, you you get an idea. Suss each other out. And then, oh, yeah. yeah, we sparred a little bit. I think it'll be in, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. Find out on Sunday, hopefully. It, yeah, Only hopefully. two days away. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it is two days away, yeah. I mean, people, oh, this will take me a week to get this thing out, so it'll probably be like 20 days. You'll know who your opponent is by the time this comes That's out. That's it, yeah. Coming up, just crack three hours. Uh, we're coming up to your walkout music. Yes. This will be This will be good. Are we, just yeah. give me a genre. There's that. There's that kid I was yeah. talking about. That's a beauty, to be yeah, fair. That's great, yeah. isn't it? Let's get on to um, YouTube here. Jeez, pushing buttons. Um, who's it going to be? Tell me. Oh, tell me the. Tell me the artist and see if I can guess. Ah, oh, you'll you'll uh, you'll get it easily. Fifty cent. <laughs> you know exactly what it's going to be. It's not. It won't be candy shop. Um, what is it? Many men. Mm. Many men. Yeah, yeah. Got in there early. Did someone else? Oh yeah, you got to get in early. Did yeah. someone else have many men the other year? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure someone did. I should look that up. What's going on here? They use your premium. At what point is it coming in? Do you know? Just after the gunshots. Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah. Is it going to be cranked? Is it's, it just going to be going bananas? Nah, it's going to be cranked. It's going to be going, and it's uh, it's going to set the tone, set the tone for the next nine minutes or <laughs> six minutes, whatever it is. <laughs> so this is this song gets you pumped, doesn't? Yeah, honestly, I don't actually know why um why that. It was just the first when when the girl said uh get your songs in. It was yeah. just the first one that popped to my head. So I went, oh, I'll go with that one. Do you listen to this while you're running? No. You're just saving it for the night. I don't, I don't even really like him. I just don't think he's rubbish. I just think it's a good song. <laughs> that, a good that's song. an alright song. I thought that's hey, quite a <laughs> bit of a fight song, isn't it? So it is. It was, like, it was either that or you've got to get a little sing along going. But then I was like, nah, I can't be asked for that. Sweet Caroline, yeah, or something like that. Like that. Someone's going to have it. So I was like, I can't be asked doing that. I think um, Owen White had it. Yeah, some someone will have it. Everyone's. It's, it's a good. It's a good it's one. A good though. tune. Yeah, it get gets the crowd involved. going. But I'm not there. To, I'm not there to get the crowd involved. I thought you might have gone some like Oasis or something. Yeah, I had a. After that, I've couple pop me, but now I was like, I'll be that one. If it weren't that, I'd probably maybe a bit Jay Z. Might have gone that route. Yeah. Okay, yeah. whatever gets you pumped, mate. Yeah, it's yeah, it's uh, it just sort of sets the tone. I think. Okay, yeah, well, watch out, one. whoever's your opponent. Yeah. <laughs> have you got a nickname? Is your nickname Kevin the Overconfident by chance? Nah, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about overconfident. I'm mean, oh, just, just joking. Just, Let's nah, go. Just what's, confident. What's the nickname? Bosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, have you really nice. have you written approval from Billy? From Billy? Yeah, uh, I, I did tell him. I went, I'll take the nickname. He went, you can take it, but you got to win. I went, done, easy. If Billy Bosch Queencroft uh, gives you that name, yeah, it's an honour, isn't it? That it's, is an uh, honour. It, it, it gets bestowed upon you, and then I'll, I'll pass it down to someone later on down the line. He, because he he won. He had a he tough did, yeah. Yeah. assignment. He had Josh Misak from yeah, memory. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And Josh, that little keg on legs, just kept coming. Yeah, and he was, got hit. Yeah, that was a tough fight. I've watched that one. That was a good fight. And you watch Bill. I still remember Billy. Just he, every punch he had, he just threw gritted teeth. Yeah, he was not loose. He was just trying to take Josh's head off. Every Josh took, took Josh took um some massive punches that day as well. Mm, yeah, they did well. That was Red's first, first win, win of the night. Right, yeah. Fight eight, I believe. Really? It was. He won a couple, didn't they? As well. Eleven to two. Yeah, that's a there was two split. There was two split uh, losses. Um, both. I can't even think who it was. Oh, it was just now. Showtime got the one over Chris Dodge, and there was another split. Uh it was um, Mike Magic Mike McCormack against um, uh, Dave Bozniak. Dave Bozniak's down at training a fair yeah, bit. So, yeah, he's, he's a, a good yeah. man. Yeah. Talk about someone being stiff. <laughs> he is just. <laughs> Stiff the Dave, whole time. Yeah. He's a good man. Yeah. He's a quality man. I'm glad he's going to be down there. After it's all done in, in what's that, in 30 days, yeah, 30, 30 days, yeah, 30 days from now, you're going to be down in Bunbury mm. uh, getting the 15s Perth Glory team. Yet another win. Probably still wearing the belt, possibly. Probably. Yeah. Have you? Probably. Have you got any like plans for for the aftermath? Because it's a pretty big come down mm. that you have afterwards. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've not really thought about it because it'll be yeah, straight into football and then just the normal week regimes football. Yeah, it's um, I don't know. Probably probably going to celebrate the following weekend as well. Keep the party rolling, I guess. Well, it's good that you've got that, and that's a kind of plan like coaching a team. You do have the ability to. Feel those highs yet again, mm, yeah. And I think maybe it's for some of the older fighters that that struggle a bit more because it's been that long since I've had that rush, that moment, yeah. And then they have it, and it's over, and they can struggle. A lot mm. of people do struggle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you see it in professional fights. You see, it, even in football, you see it when professional footballers retire. Yeah, a lot of them go off the rails. Yeah. Oh, they do, like yeah. Gascoigne. Yeah, yeah, Gaza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he was ever on the rails anyway. No. To be honest, he's <laughs> he was off the yeah, rails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's good. That's good to hear because I always do. I'm not not concerned, but I always think about. It. I think you know, make sure everyone's doing yeah. okay afterwards because mm. I know some people do take it. You know, and and maybe if they didn't get the win, they do they mm. do fall in a bit of a hole. So as long as those those friendships and everything are established, especially in the next few weeks when you're in your yeah. teams, yeah, now everything's in good nature. I think, and it's uh, yeah. At the end of the day, you're getting in the ring and you're fair play, yeah, regardless of the result. And then your mates afterwards, yeah. and everyone looks after everyone. It's all good fun. Well, Kevin, Kevin Bosch, you are twenty nine days out from the PCR PCR twelve. Naming right sponsor, Golf Smack Sports Mouthguards. 
MVP and Link Support Solutions. Got all the sponsors in there this time. Mate, I want to thank you very much for spending your Friday afternoon with me. It's been a pleasure. We have talked about a lot of stuff that isn't PCR related, but it's great having you in here. I want to thank you for your time, and I want to wish you all the best for these last four weeks, whoever your opponent might be. And I look forward to celebrating you, celebrating with you on the night, possibly with the belt, possibly with without. Belt, yeah. <laughs> we all know it's going to be, it's going to be done, done it's early. Done early. That's it. You've heard it here first, people. Exactly. I want to thank you for your time, mate, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bash. <laughs>